can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, Chapter 441. Seafood business, Lin Qing, he didn't about her youngest son's thoughts. She didn't govern him and let him make arrangements by himself. Honestly, in the money aspect, Lin Qing, he managed the three sons very loosely. She wasn't like other families that didn't give a penny. The children actually save money to buy what they want. Lin Qing, he supported this. The days passed and it was summer vacation. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qingbai didn't head south straight away. The couple handed over the shop to third. Then they went swimming, watch a movie or something. They relaxed for two days before heading south. After the two of them departed for the south, Zhou Gui Lai invited old Wang to the shop to help, God Grandfather, you have to help me. My eldest brother isn't at home. M second brother is giving tutoring again. My most romantic parents are heading to the south and threw away their burdens. My grandfather and my grandmother have to help my aunt watch the children and send Ching Ching and the others to and from school. So counting down, there was only old Wang who could come and help. Old Wang didn't have a holiday. The school library wasn't closed yet. He wasn't the only one over there, so he took a leave of absence for two months and came here to help Zhou Gui Lai. In fact, there wasn't much for him to help out with just to help collect money and give change. Then wash hands to help make dumplings. It wasn't difficult. This wasn't the first time that Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai have thrown away their responsibilities. Now they threw it away more carefreely. Feeling completely unburdened. Both of them were in the train carriage at this time. Lin Qing, he snacked on an apple and said, this time let's go to the port to see if there is any seafood. N. Zhou Qingbang nodded. He was reading the newspaper. As he read, he frowned. What's wrong? Lin Qing, he asked. It seems that many people have been laid off. Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he wasn't surprised. Wasn't it due to Su De Lin's factory being in a rocky situation, he decided to get off the boat and took the children to the capital with Zhou Xiaomei. Moreover, this was the period of workers being laid off. However, the private industry had also emerged in the past few years and will provide a number of jobs. The situation was already well understood. Many people will also embark on the path of business. These will be the way out. Zhou Qingbai flipped through the newspaper and remarked, 10,000 yuan households aren't rare now. His heart was also very shaken. After all, it was only a few years, right? 10,000 yuan households were rare in 1979. But this year, 1983, 10,000 yuan households can be said to pile together in the newspapers. Lin Qing, he laughed, there is a saying that 10,000 yuan isn't rich. 10,000 is just the starting line. 1 million is considered rich. Although it wasn't a popular phrase now, this sentence will become popular in the near future. Zhou Qingbai couldn't help emotionally remarked that if his wife hadn't been admitted to the university and brought the family out, his horizon wouldn't broaden so much. If one wanted to earn a 10,000 yuan household in the village, they can try it. But he knew that if they want to earn 10,000 yuan in the village, it wasn't easy. Don't worry, I will buy a few more plots of land in a good location and keep it. Then, I will build a few dormitories and rent them to Beijing Vagabond later. When we are old and can't work, we don't have to be afraid of having no money. Lin Qing, he comforted her man. Zhou Qing Bai grinned. Lin Qing, he leaned into his arms. Live AA a landlady. Was this not what she yearns for? Imagine wearing pajamas and slippers, carrying a bunch of keys in hand, and yawning to collect rent. Pretty awesome. The couple reached the south. They came to the outskirts and waited until no one was around before they drove the truck out. Naturally, the days of being a profiteer began. Nowadays, everyone was getting richer and richer. Even a color TV that costs hundreds of yuan was still in demand. 
There were also tape recorders, electric fans, watches, etc., which were all very easy to resell after they were purchased. This year, they made more money than the previous year. When the couple was counting in the guest house that night, the amount was almost 40,000 yuan. Despite the exhaustion, the excitement of being a profiteer was making money very fast. After one night's rest, the two drove over to buy a motorcycle. On top of buying a motorcycle for third brother, they bought a few more barrels of gasoline. Then they changed their route and came to the port to buy seafood. Seafood. You came to the right place. Dried abalone, dried sea cucumber, and dried cuttlefish are all available. Do you want fish gelatin? They are all large fish gelatin. The quality is high. There are many kinds of them. Two bosses, how much do you want? The seafood boss asked very enthusiastically. Of course, he'll be enthusiastic. They drove a truck. Take us over for a look first. Lin Ching, he said. No problem. The seafood boss nodded and then led Lin Ching, he and Zhou Ching by around. After such a lap, Lin Ching he couldn't help but want to partake in the seafood business. She spoke, boss, you have a complete set of seafood here. Basically, you have everything. It's nothing. Why else would I say you came to the right place? This is the largest seafood processing plant in this area, replied the seafood boss. Are you in cooperation with the train side? Lin Ching, he asked. What do you mean? The seafood owner was stumped and felt puzzled. We are from the capital. I have a seafood shop there, but they are a limited selection. So I want to try to form a cooperation with you. Lin Ching, he explained. She was thinking of going over to Dalian and have a look. That place was exceptionally rich in seafood. You are from the capital. No wonder your accent a bit weird. The seafood owner was surprised. Then again, it wasn't strange. Everything opened up. He had some hesitation, this is too far away. It's no problem to deliver it to you, but every time you order, you have to order in large quantities. Otherwise, the travel expenses will not be enough to cover. I also have to send two workers to deliver it there. Each order won't be less than 1,000. Lin Ching, he stated. That's a bit little. It's not cost-effective. The seafood boss shook his head. A thousand is little? Zhou Ching Bai glanced at him. The seafood boss responded to him in crappy Mandarin, of course, it's little. These seafood are extremely expensive. I'm giving wholesale prices and delivered to your door. This order requires a minimum 2,000 as the starting point. Lin Qingha asked about the prices of various products. Among them, dried abalone and dried sea cucumbers are indeed costly. The fish gelatin had different qualities and the best was also expensive. So if one buys the best, the 2,000 yuan's order wasn't really a lot. We are all businessmen. At least trust is necessary. I won't ask too much. When the goods are delivered to you, the accounts will be settled then. However, if the goods are delivered over and no one can be found, I get deceived and my people made a trip for nothing. Then don't think about coming here to get the goods in the future. Other business will never sell it to you too. The seafood owner stated. Chapter 442 Quitting Lin Qing, he said, when doing business, we got to be trustworthy. We can't possibly let your people make a trip for nothing. It has no benefit for us. Who would do such a wicked thing? You guys seem to be decent, so I believe you. But if it is someone else, then I might not believe it. The seafood boss responded with a smile. This time, Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai directly bought a truck full of dried seafood with him. They were all packed in boxes. Adding it all up, the total amount of money for this exchange was almost 3,000 yuan. Even when the seafood boss completed a lot of transactions, but this kind of 3,000 yuan transaction doesn't happen in any month. These sea crabs have just been caught. I will give it to you as a gift for our future cooperation. 
the seafood owner was overjoyed. Such a big order was sold today. It was enough to see that Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai can be trusted. So naturally, he didn't mind being generous. A box of frozen, tied sea crabs was given. Lin Qing, he didn't act reserved. She accepted it and also asked for his phone number. She will call him when she needed to order. Then Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai drove away. On the road, Zhou Qing Bai was puzzled, so he said, Why do you want to open a dry seafood shop all of a sudden? Before they came, they were planning to come over and buy some to eat at home. Lin Qing, he smiled and said, It's fine to open one. Anyway, our family is going to eat it. It's not a bad idea to open a shop while we are at it. These were the specialty products from the southern side. In the capital, these were available, but very limited. Lin Qing, he quite liked these kinds of seafood. These were all dried seafood. Relatively durable and the profit wasn't low. Basically, they were all split into half cost and half profit. Some even have 60% profit. The goods weren't cheap. Just achieve a few orders a day and they will make a lot of money in that month. That's why Lin Qing, he came up with the idea on the spot and want to do this business. It was convenient for their family to eat it. And having more stores was beneficial. After all, one can get involved in different kinds of industry. There was nothing wrong with trying. This time, there were a lot of shrimps, dried shrimp skins, and the like. There was a truckload of it behind them. Once this truck drove to the suburbs, Lin Qing, he put the vehicle into the space. Then they used a bicycle to travel. The couple came to the train station. The bicycle was easy to put away. Just find a corner where no one was around and withdraw it in. Currently, there was no monitoring camera and the likes, so there was nothing to be afraid of. After getting on the train, they went directly to their side. After so much going on, Lin Qing, he was tired and went to sleep with Zhou Qing Bai. When they woke up, they hadn't arrived yet. The train wasn't slow, but neither was it fast. It would take nearly 50 hours. However, it took four full days to go from the capital to Yangqing. There were some rest periods in the middle, but it can't be said it's not far away. After all, transportation still wasn't as developed and prosperous as later generations. When they arrived at the municipal city, Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai found a guest house, took a comfortable bath, and went to bed after changing the sheets and quilts. The couple slept until after 8 o'clock the next day before they woke up. Lin Qing, he was held in Zhou Qing Bai's embrace. She yawned, when we get rich in the future, we won't toss around like this. So far, it seemed there were a lot of properties in their family. But to say they were wealthy, it was still too early. Once this dry goods store is open, we won't go to the south next year. Zhou Qing Bai said. How can that do? Lin Qing, he was taken aback for a moment and looked at him. It was true that it was tiring, but the horse won't be fat without nightly grass and a person isn't rich without a windfall. Despite the exhaustion, this trip to the south had made a profit of nearly 40,000 yuan. What did 40,000 yuan mean at this time? Her clothing shop and beverage shop sounded like it was doing extremely well and the profit was definitely high. But after deducting the monthly labor cost, how much was it actually in a year? Although it was a bit tiring, how can they not want this windfall? In the future, business will be very good. And we had bought the courtyard dwelling. Let's not do this. Zhou Qing Bai stated. Lin Qing, he froze for a moment. Taking in his expression, she hesitated. In fact, Zhou Qing Bai didn't allow her to do this from the start. It was because she wanted to do it, he followed her. He agreed because the family conditions were average and the children needed to be nurtured. However, the conditions at home were already pretty good right now. Truly above well off. Clothing shops, beverage shops, as well as this dry goods shop, and my dumpling shop. Manage these shops well, the income will be high. There is no shortage of money. Zhou Qingbai said. 
Lin Qin, he looked at him. Zhou Qingbai also stared back at his wife. Really quitting? Lin Qing, he disappointedly looked at him. Our family will not be short of money in the future. I will raise the price of dumplings again. It's not a problem to make 500 yuan a month. Zhou Qingbai stated seriously. Lin Qing, he was initially quite disappointed, but she couldn't help but smile when she heard what he said. She responded, then you raise it. The price needs to be increased. Quitting? Zhou Qingbai's gaze remained on her. You said quitting, so we're quitting. I'll listen to you. Lin Qing, he leaned into his arms and replied. In fact, with her personality, it was a surprise that he could promise her to be a profiteer at the beginning. What's more, he had joined her for a few years. Now he wanted to stop, then stop. After all, she had bought her courtyard dwelling. And there were five shops and the house, where Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were living, was also under her and her family Qingbai's name. In addition, there were a lot of savings. The businesses of various shops were still very stable. So Lin Qing, he felt that there was no problem with not continuing this opportunity. As long as her Qingbai didn't feel entangled in his heart, it was fine. If I'm an emperor, it seems I'm a muddled head emperor. Lin Qing, he emotionally remarked. Zhou Qingbai looked at her questioningly. Lin Qing, he clarified, how much money did I give up for you, old man? Not old. Zhou Qingbai flipped on top of her. Lin Qing, he blushed and said, it's almost time to get up. Later. No rush. Zhou Qingbai laughed. This no rush continued until noon. They had lunch here before they caught a ride at 1 p.m. to the county city. It was almost 3 o'clock when they reached the county city. They found a place to take out Third Brother's motorcycle and gasoline. The couple made their way to Third Brother's place first. When arrived at Third Brother's shop, Third Brother and Third Sister-in-law happened to be there. Lin Qing, he almost laughed out when she saw third brother's black and skinny appearance. He almost turned into a monkey. Old fourth, fourth sister-in-law. Third brother's eyes lit up when he saw the two of them. Especially at the sight of the motorcycle they were on. He came out quickly. I was saying you should coming anytime soon. We had been waiting for you for a long time, you must come to our home to eat tonight. I will kill the chicken. Third sister-in-law followed out him and uttered. Chapter 443 Return One's Homeland in Silken Robes Lin Qing, he didn't act politely with her and smilingly replied, All right. We will a large family feast tonight. Fourth brother, fourth sister-in-law, did you buy this motorcycle for me? Third brother, couldn't help but grin. And. What do you think? Lin Qing, he nodded. Can you drive? Zhou Qingbai took down a barrel of gasoline from the vehicle and asked him. Not yet. Guide me. Third brother said. Zhou Qingbai asked him where to put the gasoline first and then took him for a ride. Lin Qingha and third sister-in-law entered the house. Fourth sister-in-law, how much is the motorcycle and gasoline? I'll get it for you. Third sister-in-law jollily brought up. What's the hurry? It's not I'm worried that you don't have it. Lin Qing, he laughed. Seeing that Zhou Wu and I wasn't present in the shop, she asked, where is Wu and I? Didn't she come back for the summer? Didn't come back. I heard that she was studying over there with Yang Yang. I let her be. Let her do as she likes. Third sister-in-law smilingly explained. She poured water for Lin Qing He, and then went in to get the money. A total of 900 was taken out. It didn't that much. Lin Qingha took the money for the motorcycle and gasoline and returned the rest. Third sister-in-law mentioned, some time ago, a customer drove a motorcycle over to buy food. We asked the price, and he said that his friend helped buy it back. It costs more 1,000 or so. Bringing it back from there, for 1,000 or so. His friend didn't rip him off too much. Lin Qing, he smiled. 
we knew that you and your fourth brother are taking care of us. So we took the bite and bought it. Third sister-in-law explained. It's right to buy it. This time, I see third brother became even darker and thinner than last year. This isn't how you should make money. Lin Ching, he said. Third sister-in-law said, how is he dark and thin? It's better than when he was doing farm work. Farm work is true torture. It's not peaceful here this year. Lin Ching, he took candies and two cans of milk powder from the bag for her nephews and nieces, and asked, what's the matter? There was heavy rain this year. The crops couldn't be harvested during the summer harvest. Thankfully it was now. If this was in the past, many people will starve to death, third sister-in-law remarked. There's such matter? I talked to eldest sister-in-law on the phone and she didn't mention anything. Lin Ching, he said. Probably afraid of making you worry. But it's fine. It was only with these two counties and districts around us. There is food shipped from other places. We won't starve. Third sister-in-law responded. This was how it was for ordinary people who relied on the weather for food. There was really no other way. Thankfully it was the present, or else where can they go to buy food during in the previous period? How is San Ni's side? Lin Qing, he remembered and asked. She had also suffered. This year, Li Aigua took San and I to the hospital. Third sister-in-law replied. What's the matter? Lin Qing, he said. San Ni's body is in bad condition. Third sister-in-law quietly recounted Zhou San Ni's abnormal menstruation. In the end, she sighed, say, why did such a good girl get such a damaged body like this? The doctor said she is anemic. It needs to be treated, otherwise, it won't be easy to have children in the future. When Zhou San and I and Li Aigua dropped by this side, third sister-in-law saw her. Zhou San Ni's face was completely pale as if there was no life in her. People couldn't bear to see it. What's Li Aigua's reaction? Lin Qing, he asked. It's pretty good. No wonder eldest sister-in-law said he is good. Third sister-in-law answered, he just said it'll be fine once it's treated. He didn't say anything else. I think San and I girl is taking this matter to heart. You know she always likes to hold matters her heart. Lin Qing, he remarked, this kind of thing happened once she married over. No one would feel happy about it. Natural disasters ruining the harvest and people in poor health. This was what misfortune was called. Third sister-in-law said, I think Li Aigua has the intention to come over and open a shop in the county. These words made Lin Qing, he a little surprised, he wants to come over and open a shop? She originally wanted to suggest it to Li Aigua and Zhou San and I. Unexpectedly, they had the same ideas. I think they do. But a shop isn't so easy to open. Renting a shop doesn't seem right, while it costs so much money to buy a shop. As for collecting goods, it's inconvenient for Li Aigua, third sister-in-law, pointed out. Although Li Aigua wasn't born with limp feet, his leg and foot were indeed bad. There was no problem for third brother to guide this nephew-in-law. It must be pointed out that third brother, who got healthy legs and feet, felt half of his life was drained from going back and forth between the city and the county city every day. With the way Li Aigua was, how can he do it? Lin Qing, he didn't say anything, because what third sister-in-law brought up were all problems. How's the business here at the shop? Lin Qing, he had a vague idea in her heart, but she was still hesitating. So she changed the topic. Third sister-in-law grinned, this year's business had been affected. But now it had eased down. The business is still pretty good. Because of the heavy rains, there wasn't much supply then. It recovered afterward. Third brother followed third brother Lin and got a lot of fish and shrimps back to sell. This made up for the gap during the period of no supply of vegetables and fruits. But now it had passed. Many fruits and vegetables were on the market one after another. Now they got a motorcycle, they won't do any worse in the future. 
By the way, will youngest sister and brother-in-law come back this year? Third sister-in-law asked. It's not clear yet. Lin Ching, he shook her head. Third sister-in-law said, we bought a place this year. Although it's a bit smaller, we're planning to move into it in a while. Lin Ching, he smiled, you bought a place now. It's a small apartment. Not very spacious. Third sister-in-law, grinned. Why didn't you buy a place with a yard? Lin Ching, he asked. It's too expensive. Third sister-in-law, shook her head. Lin Ching, he had said everything that should be said. Since third sister-in-law, thought it was too expensive, she didn't say anything. Third sister-in-law said, your brother and your sister-in-law bought a place with a yard. Although the place isn't small, I think it's not worth it. It's 1800. Simply too expensive. A place with a yard costed this much money. And it was relatively shabby. They have to renovate it themselves. That also cost some money. All in all, they can forget about it if they didn't have at least 2000. How much is the apartment you bought? Lin Ching, he asked. It's about 900. Although the building is a bit old, it doesn't matter. Your third brother and I plan to go back to the village and build a spacious one. One similar to eldest sister-in-law's. You haven't seen it yet. That's more face gaining. Said. All right, Lin Ching, he understood it was returning one's homeland in silken robes. Once they're rich, they want to go back to their hometown to build a house so that the people in the village can envy. But she really didn't think it was worth it. They would have to stay in the city in the future and only returned a few times a year. Once built, it'll be left empty. Chapter 444 Difference Between Relying on Themselves and Relying on Family But Lin Qing, he didn't make any comment because this kind of nostalgia for their homeland wasn't limited to third sister-in-law and third brother. Her Qing Bai was the same. He was also thinking about returning to the village when he is old. Lin Qing, he was happy to satisfy him. Later in the future, they will go back to the village to build an apartment building. Right now, the brick houses were popular, so forget it. Third sister-in-law asked about the physical condition of Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. Lin Qing, he replied, don't worry. They're doing fine. How is Xing Mei doing? I saw she brought Xing Chong over. Third sister-in-law continued asking. Eldest sister-in-law and second sister-in-law had a better relationship with first sister as they married an earlier. Lin Qing, he, and third sister-in-law, both entered the door later. In fact, the relationship was SOSO. I don't know how to say it. Saying it's good, it's not good. Saying it's bad, it's not bad. As for Su Xing Chang. I heard that not long after he arrived, he beat someone into the hospital for talking about his nepotism. Lin Qing, he explained. Beat someone when he's there. What's more, into the hospital. Third sister-in-law's eyes popped out. That's been a while. The matter is over. He's currently studying at night school. The same school as Er and I, Hu Zi, and Gang Zi. Whether he can learn well, it's up to him. Lin Qing, he said. With his temper, I hope he doesn't go to night school to cause trouble and implicate Er and I and the others. Third sister-in-law couldn't help but utter. His uncle signed him up. He is responsible if something crops up. I'm not getting involved with his old Su family's affairs. Lin Qing, he stated. Say, first sister isn't bad. How did she teach each of them into this? Third sister-in-law's face was ugly. She knew the inside story. Lin Qing, he won't hide it. She let these sisters-in-law know through the phone. Let's not talk about this. Next year is the time to drink Ernie's wedding wine. Lin Qing, he changed the topic. Er and I? Third sister-in-law, froze. Then she uttered, did eldest sister-in-law found someone for Er and I? I didn't hear her mention this. He's from the capital. Lin Qing, he smiled, this year's new year, 
Air NI will bring Wang Yuan back. From the capital? Is he reliable? Third sister-in-law was surprised and said quickly. Qing Bai, me, our parents, and the others had met him. So is he reliable? Lin Qing, he smiled. Third sister-in-law hesitated, just afraid that he might dislike our rural area. Third sister-in-law knew about when Su Xingmei brought Zhao Jun back. Zhao Jun was so disgusted with old Su family, it was said that he didn't even want to eat a bite of rice at the old Su's house, because it was unhygienic. One must know old Su family hold this capital son-in-law high. I know it. Er and I didn't agree to it at the beginning. It was he himself who liked Er and I and chased her. Lin Qing, he explained. Third sister-in-law was relieved when she heard that. Still, she said, first sister will probably say you are biased. In my whole life, as long as I can do right to my own conscience, then it's fine. I really have been criticized a lot. I'm used to it by now. Lin Qing, he replied calmly. She understood what third sister-in-law meant. Zhou Er and I was introduced to such a great guy, while Su Xing Mei's can only find one by herself. The difference was so big. Lin Qing, he didn't feel guilty or care at all. Whoever wants to blame, let them blame. Third sister-in-law spoke, saying you are partial, then that shouldn't be the case. You didn't say you won't find one for Xing Mei. It was her who couldn't sit still and went to find one herself. She used to have an okay relationship with Lin Qinghe. But in recent years, she really thought that Lin Qing, he was a great sister-in-law. She was frank and direct. She will never act sly with others. When it's one, she'll say it's one. If there was any problem, just say it to her face. She won't keep it inside. It was better to interact with such a person. No worry about being stabbed. Lin Qing, he told the truth, even if she didn't find one by herself, I wouldn't be able to introduce a guy like that to her. Ernie's guy wasn't introduced by me. It was Er and I who was hardworking and eager to learn. She went over to work as an accountant in his factory and caught his eye. He fancied her, so he took the initiative to pursue Er and I. Back then, I offered to pay the tuition for Su Xing Mei, but she didn't want to learn. Having said that, she continued, she probably regrets it now. That's why she brought her brother to find their uncle and got him sent to class. Third sister-in-law asked what Zhou Ernie's guy do. It caught her by surprise when she found out he was a young boss who opened his own factory. Much richer than the one married to Xing Mei, asked third sister-in-law. I don't know about this. But Wang Yuan relies on himself, while Zhao Jun relies on his family. It's different. Lin Qing, he replied. Obviously, Wang Yuan was more promising than Zhao Jun. The important point he was steady and truly loved Er and I in his heart. Lin Qing, he sat here for a long time. Zhou Qing Bai and third brother still hadn't come back. They were still practicing outside. So Lin Qing, he went over to third brother Lin's side by herself. Third brother Lin was killing chickens in the shop. While third sister-in-law Lin was loading eggs for a customer. Third sister. Seeing her coming, third sister-in-law Lin revealed a delighted expression and called out. Third brother Lin heard this and turned around. Seeing that it was really his sister, he was surprised, Sister, what are you here? Where is my brother-in-law? Your brother-in-law is at that side shop. He will come later. Lin Qing, he smilingly replied. It was the same old rule. Two cans of milk powder, as well as candies and the like. Just like the trips back every year. Hurry up and get a stool for your third aunt, third sister-in-law Lin ordered. Third brother Lin's eldest daughter was called Lin Xiao. A big girl now. Now she had graduated from elementary school and will go to junior high school next semester. Speaking of this, this was Lin Qinghe's influence. So third brother Lin attached great importance to education. He got three daughters at the front. Because of this, third sister-in-law Lin kept wiping tears. 
The three daughters weren't young now. They were all studying. No one was left out. Judging by the couple's intention, T as long as they can pass the exam, they will continue to study and they continue to support it. Their thought was also progressive. Lin Ching Yi asked, how is Xiao's grade? Average. Lin Xiao sighed and sadly answered. She felt that she had worked very hard. But in terms of grades, it was considered average. Not very good. Now you're a big girl now. Would you like to explore the capital when you have time? You can ask your cousin to give you supplementary lessons. Lin Qing, he kindly suggested. Can I go? Lin Xiao's eyes lit up. As long as your parents agree, you can go travel. Lin Qing, he smilingly nodded. Going over, she'll cause trouble. Third sister-in-law Lin quickly interjected. She won't cause trouble. It's good for a child of this age to go and look around. Lin Qing, he assured. How old is she now? She will go later when she has a chance. Third sister-in-law Lin smiled. Lin Qing, he saw Lin Xiao's disappointment and said, Your mother is right. You are still a little young. Study hard. When you are 15 or 16 years old, it will be okay to go to the capital. Chapter 445 Good Affection Lin Xiao became happy when her third aunt said this. Lin Qing, he accepted the water handed over by third sister-in-law Lin and said, You guys work away. Don't worry about me. I can just talk to Ah Xiao and the others. Third brother Lin and third sister-in-law Lin were really busy at this moment. At this time, there were people coming and going to the shop, because this was the time for grocery shopping. There were two peak times. One in the morning and the other in the evening. Of course, during the rest of the day, there was some business. Lin Qing, he watched the people coming and going. Originally, there were two baskets of eggs. A lot was gone in a moment. She knew that the business was extremely good. When people left, third brother Lin spoke, Sister, you and brother-in-law must eat here tonight. Let's eat in our place. I promised my third sister-in-law that we will eat at her side later. I heard you bought a house with a yard? Lin Qing, he jollily asked. Well, I bought it. It's the place I mentioned before. Third brother Lin smilingly responded. He was different from third brother and third sister-in-law. He really didn't plan to go back to the village anymore. He even thought about spending some money to move his family's household registration to the city once everything is stable. So even when the property was 1800 and had to repair by himself, third brother Lin gritted his teeth and spent the money. It wasn't a small sum and was spent all at once. Especially for the rear renovation. It cost an extra 500 yuan to make their property look completely new. In short, every time third brother Lin returned to that house, he felt that his effort was absolutely worth it. From now on, this was his own home. Even for the new year, third brother Lin had no plans to go back. There was always a pile of trouble stacking up. Really a pile. Not a joke. Now that everyone knew he was making money, his parents sighed in front of him year after year. Also, his two elder brothers both looked at him with condemning gazes. Eyes filled with accusations. As if saying he had become successful and didn't pull them, his elder brothers in. Third brother Lin wasn't so selfish. He wanted to help, but how can he help? Once he opened his mouth, they want him to pay for the shop. And everything else would be gathered from his side in the future. Was calling brothers to do business? This was making trouble for himself. Third brother Lin wasn't that stupid. Even though he was soft-hearted, his wife wasn't. For example, when their family went back to celebrate the new year last year, they didn't have a good celebration. His eldest brother and second brother both came to visit. Openly and secretly, they came to inquire about business matters. This was fine. But not a few sentences later, they wanted to borrow money from him. 
third brother Lin had an unpleasant New Year's Eve, especially when they came to borrow money and said they were going to open a shop or something. Simply treating him as a fool. His parents also caused non-stop trouble. At this age, they didn't know how to make people not worry. As the youngest son, he can give them 10 yuan a month, which was definitely a lot. But these two elderly was on his elder brother's side during the new year. It was impossible to say it didn't chill his heart. Still, he was their son. So he would support them and send money back every month. Anymore, he wasn't willing to give more to him. After all, there were still his two elder brothers. He was filial. In the whole village, no one would criticize him. Only praise him. Let's not talk about this. Life was going very smoothly. Business was also very good. With the exception of this year's heavy rain, which caused a temporary panic. He had hoarded a lot of food for his family at the first moment. Currently, they hadn't finished eating it. So, there was no worry. You guys do your business. Ashyo, bring third aunt over to see. Lin Ching, he merrily spoke. The house wasn't far away. It took three minutes to get there from the shop. It was very close, what's more, it wasn't small and by the roadside. Lin Ching, he circled around once and then returned with her niece. This house is goo. You will never regret buying it. Lin Ching, he said. Altogether, it cost about 2,300 yuan. Third brother Lin smilingly stated. That's not much. It's worth it. Lin Qing, he responded. While talking, Zhou Qing Bai and third brother came over on the motorcycle. Bought one too? Third brother Lin said with a smile. That's right. You have it. And I really can't keep riding that bike. Third brother jollily responded his relationship with third brother Lin was very good. After all, the relationship between relatives existed. On top of that, they came from the same area. They should take care of each other. Especially since third brother Lin was a righteous person. He had explored the channels for fish and duck egg supplies. He generously told third brother and brought him over to pick up the goods together. Of course, he and third brother were in a tacit agreement. The prices they offered were the same. Can't have one give higher price than the other. It won't be easy to operate in and outside the village then. Of course, some deviations were inevitable. It should have been bought long ago. With this motorcycle, a lot more things can be transported. Third brother Lin grinned. The motorcycle that his sister bought back for him was more than 700, and the fuel expense wasn't cheap. It took him less than a month, almost 20 days or so, to earn back the motorcycle's cost. It can be seen how much profit had increased after the addition of a motorcycle. Third brother continued driving around. Men always liked things like vehicles very much. Before departing, he didn't forget to remind Lin Qing he that third sister-in-law had already killed the chicken and they got to go over go. How is this year? Zhou Qingbai asked third brother Lin. Brother-in-law, don't worry. Everything is fine. Third brother Lin nodded. That's good. Work hard. In the future, come to the capital to play. Zhou Qingbai said. Brother-in-law, sister, how about sleeping at our place for one night tonight, and then go back to the village tomorrow? It'll be pretty late when you finish eating. Third brother Lin suggested. Is there room over there? Lin Qing, he asked. Yes, there is one guest room. No one sleeps in it. Third brother Lin nodded. Okay then. We will go over to your place after we finish eating. Lin Qing, he nodded. You should eat at our home tonight, said third sister-in-law Lin. It's not a big problem. Wherever we eat, it's still eating. Lin Qing, he replied with a smile. When she returned to her hometown, there's always people rushed to entertain her. That was actually very comforting. It showed that she hadn't failed as a person. There was always someone who gets along with her. 
Checking the time, Lin Ching He and Zhou Ching Bai started to head over to third brother and third sister in law's side. Third sister in law Lin remarked, Third sister and third brother in law have a very good relationship. She had never seen a couple that was as affectionate as them. No need to be envious of sister and brother in law. Our relationship isn't bad either. Third brother Lin said. Chapter 446 Factory became bankrupt. Third sister in law Lin amusedly rolled her eyes at him. She was satisfied. There were no complaints about their family's life. It will only get better in the future. Although there was still a lot of noise on her in law's side, they won't move to the city anyway. Of course, it wasn't that they didn't want to move. After knowing that his family had bought a new yard, her two incessant parents in law wanted to live there. But she was the first one to disagree. If they were good and kind elders, then she will pick them up herself. But what kind of character were those two? In the past, when she gave birth to her eldest daughter and second daughter, she didn't even have to eat a full bite. It was thanks to the meat and eggs sent by her third sister that she could have decent postnatal confinement and not leave the body with sickness during confinement. Now that the days were better, it didn't mean that she can forget everything before. Now that they can provide 10 yuan as living expenses for the two elders every month, third sister-in-law Lin felt that was benevolence and righteousness enough. Want to come to live with her in the city? Don't even think about it. When they went back last year, during the new year, the two elders mentioned it. Probably intended to test the water. The two sisters-in-law also brought it up later. She harshly stated her stance. If anyone dares to send the second elders over, then she can send the second elders back to the village on the same day. No matter how late or busy it is. On this point, third sister-in-law Lin's attitude was very firm. There was no room for discussion. Moreover, she wasn't an energy-saving lamp. When they went back last year, during the new year, she often mentioned to the villagers in the countryside that they find ten yuan a month too little and that she couldn't drink a mouthful of thick porridge during postnatal confinement. Had it not been for her third sister who brought some supplies, who knows if she can survive. But what she said was all true. After all, when they moved out that year, they were really forced by Lin family to move out. It was thanks to Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai's help that their life can improve step by step. The villagers weren't fools. How can they not notice? In addition, those few from old Lin family were bad at interacting. They often saw them make a fool of themselves. How did they make a fool of themselves? Naturally, their daughter who was forced to sever the relationship with her maternal family became successful and her family moved to the capital. Their youngest son, who was forced to separate, became successful and his family moved to the county city. It can be seen that this old Lin family wasn't fortunate. They forced good away and keep the cowardly behind. Still, he was their son. So third brother Lin gave ten yuan a month for living expenses. But they won't stop causing trouble. Did they want to force this youngest son to sever ties with the family? A lot of people in the village mocked about it. Probably because of Lin Qing, he's decisiveness, father Lin and mother Lin hesitated for a while. This daughter truly flipped her face like she said she will. Thinking about how they treated this daughter, third sister-in-law Lin in the past, they didn't insist on coming over. Otherwise, they really had that plan. After all, how nice it would be to live in the city. How can the countryside compare? But their son and daughter-in-law just disallow them to come. What can they do? They often went around the village, saying they weren't filial. But no one listened to them. In rural areas, was the monthly ten yuan given to them little? No one would say it was little. After all, this wasn't their only son. It was the youngest son who gave this money. There were still two elder ones in front. But these two elder ones weren't very promising. Especially old second Lin. Even until now, he was in an unclear relationship with that widow and often got into quarrels with his wife about this matter. In short, old Lin family was in a mess. 
whoever got involved was unlucky. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qingbai had a hearty meal with third brother and third sister-in-law. Third sister-in-law had put her heart into entertaining them. One whole chicken was fried. There were also lufa soup, cucumber soup, scrambled eggs, a fish, and a plate of shrimp. It was exceptionally rich. After these things were put on the table, Lin Chin he grinned, I didn't even know that third sister-in-law's culinary skill is this good. That's right. There was no room to develop before. Couldn't even bear to use a little lard. Now I don't have to mind so much. You and your brother do your best. I promise there's enough. Third sister swiftly replied. Naturally, Lin Qing, he didn't act reserved with her. Zhou Qing Bai and third brother were drinking while eating. Third brother had a few cups before he started to recall the past, old fourth, I remember your affection for my brother. It can be said if it weren't for that time when us, brothers went to the river to swim and you said those words and left that money, your third sister-in-law and I couldn't have the courage to go out and give it a go. Since childhood, he had been doing farm work. How much determination and courage were needed to take that step? The most important thing was that they need that kind of condition to allow it. And most of these were given by Lin Qing, He, and Zhou Qing Bai. Third brother knew this in his heart. Between brothers, if one does well, he'll hope the rest are well. As long as you guys are willing to work hard, who would be left behind? Zhou Qing Bai replied. I know what kind of person you are, old fourth. Although you are the youngest among us, we didn't take care of you. Instead, we always get taken care of by you. Also our parents, they are now looked after by you over there. Third brother said with a smile. They're also our parents. It's only right to. Lin Qing, he grinned. I know my father's temperament. However, mother. She's sometimes a little confused. Fourth sister-in-law, don't mind her. Just leave her be. Among so many grandchildren, she dotes de wa the most. Third brother, continued. She equally dotes them all. Lin Qing, he smiled. This was undeniable. Toward the four daughters-in-law, it was equal treatment. As for the son and grandson, Mother Zhou favored her family's Qing Bai and her family's eldest. Can't be helped. The youngest son and eldest grandson belonged to her family. Because of this, Lin Qing, he didn't mind Mother Zhou so much even when they were in the capital and her bad habits occasionally occurred. Almost perfect was enough. There was no need to forcibly be above the elderly on everything. However, it was necessary to be stronger sometimes. Because this mother-in-law, Mother Zhou, was a little bit ignorant and won't accept the pro. Why talk about that? Drink your thing. Third sister-in-law spoke. Whether she partial or not, they still got to eat. Back then, it was that condition. What can she give? She didn't care about it. Is Xiaomei and Delin's business doing well? Third brother, cared about his sister and brother-in-law. It's okay. Zhou Qingbai nodded. I heard that his former factory went bankrupt. De Lin's uncle and his family are now idle at home. Third brother, mentioned. The whole family has no job? Lin Qing, he asked. N. It happened this month. De Lin probably doesn't know about it yet. Third brother, confirmed. Chapter 447 More and more charming recently, a good few factories in the county city have closed down. All happened within this year. And the factory where Su De Lin used to work was one of them. His uncle's family all worked in that factory. Now, they certainly became idle. Lin Qing, he said, when I go back, I will talk to youngest sister. Su De Lin's uncle and aunt took care of their little family very much. They couldn't pretend to not know. They had to notify them too. As for how they handle it, it depends on Su De Lin and his family. After having dinner at third brother and third sister-in-law's side, Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai came to third brother Lin's house. There was no need for dinner there. 
Still, third sister-in-law Lin cooked mung bean soup as dessert. After sitting with them for a long time, it was almost time to go to bed. They went to bed early because third brother Lin will go out to the countryside to collect fruits and vegetables early in the morning. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai went back to the guest room to rest. They were also tired, so the couple called it a day early. The next morning, third brother Lin got up and the couple got up with him. Sister, brother-in-law, go back to bed. It's still early. Third brother Lin said. Third sister-in-law was giving him pancakes to eat and said, it's still early at this moment. Third sister, you guys rest more. It was about half past five. No need. Let's take advantage of the early hours and go back to the village before it gets hot. Otherwise, my eldest sister-in-law and others would go to the field later. Lin Qing, he responded. She and Zhou Qing Bai went to brush their teeth together. Then they came to eat pancakes and porridge soup together. When third brother Lin headed out, they pushed third brother Lin's bicycle and went out. Go ahead. Your brother-in-law and I will take our time. Lin Qing, he said to him. Then I'll go first. Third brother Lin nodded. His motorcycle speeded up and then drove away first. Lin Qing, he sat behind Zhou Qing Bai and they cycled slowly toward the village. Saying, our hometown's development is also very fast. Many things that were popular outside can be seen in the city. Very in trend. There are many more rich people. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. Yesterday, he took third brother around to practice. He noticed a few cars and a lot of motorcycles. Those young women on the street, it seemed their mentality and appearance was different. I heard that there was heavy rain this year. The fields basically couldn't be harvested. Lin Qing, he continued. Heavy rain? Zhou Qing Bai paused. Third sister-in-law told me that there was no harvest. Fortunately, only two counties were affected. The food was shipped from other places and no one was starved to death. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. As long as it didn't cause too big of a disaster, it was fine. I heard that San Nai was also affected by the disaster. Then Li Jiazwang isn't a big place. I guess someone might point at her shortcoming. Lin Qing, he mentioned. Zhou Qing Bai didn't say anything. The niece was married, so it was up to her how she lives. I heard third sister-in-law say that Li Ai Guo was inquiring about the shop in the city. He probably planned to open a shop in the city, Lin Qing has said. Isn't his leg bad? Zhou Qing Bai remarked. Yes, his leg is. So if he goes to open a shop in the city, he can't compete. I wonder if they are willing to go with us. Lin Qing, he told him her plan. In fact, this niece, Zhou San and I wasn't bad. She was raised into a withdrawn personality by second sister-in-law. Now that she had her health was ruined and can't have a child, Lin Qing, he felt that Zhou San and I will have a new life if she goes to the capital. Even if they move to the county city, the medical conditions wouldn't be as good as the capital. If a woman does not conceive a child within three months after her marriage, then people would talk about it. It was like this in the city, let alone the countryside. After all, there was very little awareness of contraception in this era and there was no such thing as a two-person world. Also, it was the newlywed period. Usually, they will have children soon. However, after Zhou San and I married over, she didn't get pregnant and heavy rain occurred. It was a surprise that a good few people in the village criticized her. Go to watch the dry seafood shop? Zhou Qing Bai understood her intention and asked. What do you think? Lin Qing, he asked. Not a bad idea. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. The salary will be paid to them together. 70 yuan a month. Lin Qing, he, he stated, but the discussion has to wait until I see them. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. The couple returned to the village. It wasn't early now. Many people who went to work in their own fields were almost done. After all, the summer harvest wasn't harvested. 
they got to be diligent during this autumn harvest. Ching Bai, Teacher Lin, you are back? Aunt Kai was carrying a lunchbox. She uttered at once at the sight of the couple. Yes. Come back to the village to look around. Lin Ching, he smiled and got off the bicycle, Aunt Kai, where are you going? Bringing breakfast to Zhou Dong. Aunt Kai said. All right then. Aunt, you go first. Come over and sit at our home when you have time. Lin Ching, he smiled. Aunt Kai smilingly agreed. Lin Ching, he, and Zhou Ching Bai walked home. On the way, they met many people from the village and exchanged greetings. Eldest sister-in-law and eldest brother both went down to the field. C and I was left in charge of the house. C and I was a young woman this year. Many people had their eyes on her. Who didn't know that she was swift and tidy? The most important thing was the kind of reputation eldest brother and eldest sister-in-law had in the village. It was extremely good. There was also Zhou Yang, her one-year-old younger brother. He was a college student. A well-known name. How can the demand be bad? Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai passed by old Zhou's house first. So they dropped in old Zhou's house for a look. Zhou Qing Bai went in, while Lin Qing He didn't. Back then, because Zhou Lu and I ran to the capital without permission, she and second sister-in-law's connection was torn apart. There was nothing to say. Zhou Qing Bai went in and took a look. Second brother and second sister-in-law had gone to the field. There was no one home. Zhou Qing Bai and Lin Qing, he came to First Branch's new home next. They knew where eldest brother and eldest sister-in-law's land was. So when they looked for it, they found a brick house. It was truly fine quality. At least from the perspective of this time, it was a very luxurious brick house. Josie and I happened to come out to pour water and she saw her fourth uncle and fourth aunt. Her eyes lit up, fourth uncle, fourth aunt. It's only been a year since we had seen each other. C and I is getting more and more charming. Lin Ching, he smiled when she saw Slim, C and I. Fourth aunt, don't make fun of me. Zhou C and I smiled embarrassedly and said, Fourth uncle, fourth aunt, come in and sit down. I'll make breakfast for you. Don't bother. We came back after eating in the city. Lin Ching, he said, did your parents go down to the field? Chapter 448 Both hands up in agreement n, they went out early. Zhou C and I nodded. Are you looking after the house? Lin Ching, he asked. I have to look after the chickens, ducks, and pigs at home. Zhou C and I nodded. Although she didn't need to go to the field, she was busy with all these things. There was also a little brother behind her. First branch got three daughters in front, Da and I, Er and I, and C and I, and two sons behind. However, Josie and I took on all the work at home. Fifth went to school. Even so, Lin Qing, he felt that eldest sister-in-law wouldn't refuse let this daughter, Josie and I, go to the capital with them. Because if Josie and I stayed in the village like this, she would stay for two or three years at most. Then she would also marry out. She wouldn't be able to stay at home to help out for a lifetime. Some choices were also necessary. But whether Zhou C and I goes or not, it was up to eldest sister-in-law. If eldest sister-in-law didn't want to, then it was fine. She won't force it. But if eldest sister-in-law agrees, she will also arrange for C and I to go to night school. She will be developed as she works. She will be nurtured well. Lin Qing, he asked her for her opinion and said, Fourth aunt lacks some staff. I wonder whether you want to go there, C and I? Go to the capital? Josie and I froze. N. Be with your second sister. Lin Qing, he nodded. I, I want to go, but I'm afraid no one will be home to do the work. Josie and I was very excited at first, but the next moment, she hesitated a little. How can she not want to go to the capital? Her second sister was there. Her brother and Wu and I had both been there. They said it was great when they came back. 
Naturally, she wanted to go. But she never spoke about it because there were so many people over there. She was afraid that there will be too much pressure. So she never mentioned it as her fourth aunt hadn't brought it up. She really wanted to go. But she also had concerns. If she goes, what will happen at home? There were now a few dozen chickens, a few dozens of ducks, and two pigs at home. All of which she needed to take care of. There were also a lot of things in and out of the home to do. Basically, she can't be free all day long. Have to say, with such a capable girl like her, eldest sister-in-law only needed to do farm work with eldest brother outside. She can be very relieved when she went home as it was more relaxed. If you want to go with fourth uncle and fourth aunt, then you can. As for the rest, we'll see what your mother thinks. Lin Ching, he said. She knew that eldest sister-in-law wouldn't stop her. Lin Ching, he, and Zhou Ching by let C and I work away and went home first. They cleaned up the house inside and out. Eldest sister-in-law and eldest brother both came back around 10 o'clock. Even when it was 10 o'clock, the sun was very venomous at this time. They went out before dawn and finished their work early. When they came back, they learned that Lin Ching He and Zhou Ching Bai were back. Catch a chicken from the backyard and killed it. I'll go look for Ching He. Eldest sister-in-law said to eldest brother. Okay. Eldest brother went to the backyard to catch a chicken. He told his daughter to boil the water to pluck the chicken feathers. When eldest sister-in-law came over, Lin Ching, he and Zhou Ching Bai had finished cleaning up the house. Seeing eldest sister-in-law coming, she immediately grinned, I estimate you and eldest brother are coming back soon. This sun is really poisonous. The heat is fine. Just don't follow be like last summer harvest. Eldest sister-in-law smiled. There were only seven or eight days before the summer harvest and out of nowhere the weather sky changed. All the grain in the first half of the year was ruined in the field. So ah, uh, they would rather the sun be harsher than it raining during the harvest. I only found out about the rain from third sister-in-law. I didn't hear you mention it on the phone. Lin Ching, he pointed out. It's okay. We wouldn't have starved. Third brother had sent a lot of food back. Eldest sister-in-law laughed and said, Come over to our place for lunch. Your eldest brother is killing a chicken. Yesterday at third sister-in-law's side, they also killed a chicken. After this trip back, we will be afraid of eating chickens. Lin Ching, he joked. It's nothing. Since it's killed and eat it. Eldest sister-in-law replied. Then she asked about Wan Yuan. At the end of this year, Er and I will bring Wan Yuan back. Then you and eldest brother can see for yourself. Anyway, Ching Bai and I can't find any fault. Lin Ching, he smilingly assured. Now Wan Yuan had blended into old Zhou family, her family's eldest thought he was very good. He had made a good few appointments with Wan Yuan to take a bath together several times. Eldest sister-in-law naturally trusted her sight. Although she was happy, she inevitably had some hesitation, I'm just afraid of him looking down on our house. What is there to look down on? Ching Bai, and I went to see it. It's spacious and clean. Who can dislike it? Moreover, Wang Yuan isn't that kind of person. Er and I had refused him before and wasn't willing to marry him. It's him who is set on Er and I. Lin Ching, he said. Er and I is worried that her family can't match him. Eldest sister-in-law remarked, I heard Er and I say that his family seems to be not satisfied with her. Don't worry about his family. If the two of them really match up, they'll separate out. Don't have to worry about anything. Lin Ching, he said, also, it is possible to have everything perfect? Impossible. There's always some people who will be dissatisfied. They only need to live their life well. His family will only see them a few days in a year. Er and I can bear it for a few days, right? Eldest sister-in-law nodded. Sister-in-law, I want to discuss something with you. Lin Ching, he changed the conversation's direction. 
speak. Eldest sister-in-law nodded. I still lack staff. I don't know if you are interested in letting C and I going over there with me. Lin Ching, he brought up. Eldest sister-in-law was taken by surprise, there's still a shortage of people? I heard Air and I said that you have hired a lot of people. I did, but there is still a shortage of staff. I find CNI is very quick. What's more, I watched her grow up. I know her character. If not, I wouldn't dare to say it. Lin Ching, he said. If you are willing to take her there, then let her go. There's no objection on my side. Eldest sister-in-law grinned. She wasn't boasting. Her three daughters, including her eldest before she married, were all masters of chores. There were no complaints about their character either. Their mind won't go astray. But I heard from CNI that there is still a lot of work at home. Lin Ching, he pointed out. That's not a big deal. Let the crops all be managed by your eldest brother. At most, it'll hard on him. It's no problem for me to handle the matters at home. Since you are willing to take C and I over, how can we not agree? Both hands up in agreement. Eldest sister-in-law responded. They are all my nieces. As long as she listen, I will train her like Air and I when she's there. Lin Ching, he stated. Eldest sister-in-law was overjoyed. This fourth sister-in-law was willing to nurture her, she was naturally grateful and happy. Because this fourth sister-in-law was teaching college students at Bay University, there was no one who can educate better than her. Chapter 449 Work Hard on Farming, Ching Bai, you can go over to eldest brother. I will go with eldest sister-in-law in a while. Lin Ching, he directed at Zhou Ching Bai. Okay. Zhou Ching Bai brought the wine over to his eldest brother's side. Eldest sister-in-law, how is San and I girl's side? Did she come back? Lin Ching, he asked. Returned once. With this year's disaster, the other side also suffered. Eldest sister-in-law responded. I heard from third sister-in-law that San and I girl hasn't been pregnant even until now and that her thing come once in ten days. Lin Ching, he knew then that eldest sister-in-law didn't know about Zhou San Ni's affairs and spoke. Eldest sister-in-law, froze, once in ten days? This is not normal. And haven't been pregnant even until now. Lin Ching, he nodded. Eldest sister-in-law was stunned, how did this happen? Lin Ching, he shook her head. Eldest sister-in-law became worried, what to do? If she doesn't get treatment, it will be bad for the body. I and Ching Bai will find a time to go over and have a look. If she and Liaigua are willing, I also want to take them to the capital to watch the shop for me. Lin Ching, he stated. Bring them as well? Are there so many shops to watch? Eldest sister-in-law was shocked. I plan to open another dry seafood shop and let them watch it then. But I don't know whether they'll agree or not. Lin Ching, he said. Of course, they'll agree. Over at the capital, the hospital is better. You and fourth brother are there. So why wouldn't they go? Eldest sister-in-law replied. Lin Ching, he nodded. Eldest sister-in-law looked outside. She lowered her voice and said that Lu and I lass. You must not let her go. Ignore her when she throws a tantrum. What's wrong? It went without saying Lin Qing, he wouldn't pay attention to Zhou Lu and I. From the beginning, she thought that this niece couldn't be redeemed. Still, she asked. You don't know, this lass truly became crooked. Eldest sister-in-law sighed. Speaking of Zhou Luni's matter. Although Zhou Lu and I was ranked after Zhou Wu and I, she was only one month younger than this cousin. She was seventeen this year. She was a veritable young woman, but she can't behave. In and out of the village, she would go and mix with those hooligans. Eldest sister-in-law had nothing to say to second sister-in-law. Instead, she told eldest brother. Like quite a lot of time. Told him to let second brother know and govern her. Naturally, second brother did. But Zhou Lu and I was dead set on not changing. 
I heard that she went to hide in the rice field with someone. Eldest sister-in-law said in disbelief. There was no change on Lin Qing, he's face. She said, this girl was nurtured astray by second sister-in-law. In the past, she was so resolute in not agreeing to let Zhou Lu and I to go there. Wasn't due to sensing this niece was a bad one? Her core was rotten and cannot be saved. It was just Su Xing Mei, the only one she had trip up on. It was just that she didn't know her well at that time. But in life, who hadn't tripped up? However, she can't veto other people just because she had stumbled with Su Xing Mei. Others were was good, so why wouldn't she bring them out? Her family had gone to the capital. Although they were all very rising with energy, the foundation of her family was actually very weak. Not as stable as the natives of the capital, who had been there for generations and got many relatives. What kind of relatives did her family have over there? Although it didn't cause any trouble, but one have to be clear, how many shops did her family have? Bringing more people over and the neighbors would keep it in mind. Before doing business, she didn't know about this. But Lin Qing, he thought it through later. If she were to be so scrupulous with the broad over younger generation's development due to Su Xing Mei's matter, then that would be putting too much attention on Su Xing Mei's influence. As long as it was good bud, Lin Qing, he was willing to cultivate it. As for how to far they go in the future, it depends on their own. Lin Qing, he felt this was doable. As for Zhou Lu and I, she can't be cultivated. This niece was useless. She will never take care of her. I'm just worried that when you bring San and I over, she will also follow. Eldest sister-in-law voiced out. I can get someone to send her back once, then I can make her go back a second time. San and I is married. Even her mother dare not disturb her. Lin Qing, he didn't care. Do they need to hesitate because of Zhou Lu and I? Of course not. The reason why people want to make money and climb up was because when they reach a certain height, they will find that many people and many things can't affect them a single bit. Eldest sister-in-law nodded, that's right. San and I had enough of her too and won't let her go. Lin Qing, he went over with eldest sister-in-law. Second brother was also present. Eldest brother told Zhou C and I to call him over. The brothers always had to have a meal together. Second brother is here. Lin Qing, he greeted. Fourth sister-in-law is still the same as before. Don't look like you're getting old. Second brother remarked. Just teaching college students. How can she age? Eldest sister-in-law jollily spoke. I'm not aging. However, a lot of hair falls every day when I get up. Lin Qing, he joked. That's expected. It's quite brain-intensive. Second brother responded. After all, she was teaching college students. Just thinking about it, one knew it wasn't easy or simple. Lin Qing, he smiled and didn't say anything. Eldest sister-in-law started cooking. Lin Qing, he was going to help with her, but the kitchen was small. Eldest sister-in-law and Zhou C and I was enough. Eldest brother and second brother were listening to Zhou Qing Bai's recount of matters in the capital. Longing was apparent on second brother's face. Lin Qing, he knew at a glance that second brother wanted to go to the capital city. If he can be hosted, Lin Qing, he wouldn't mind hosting. But because of the bad relationship with second sister-in-law and also Zhou Lu and I to consider, Lin Qing, he won't open her mouth. Those who can be hosted will be hosted. Those who shouldn't, she won't make trouble for herself. However, second brother said, I kind of want to go to the city to open a shop like old third. Why don't you go? Zhou Qingbai asked. Your second sister-in-law doesn't agree told me to work hard at farming at home. Don't dabble in those nonsense. Second brother sighed. He had asked Old Third. Old Third said that he could do it. He was even willing to lend him money to let him start up. However, his wife won't allow it. How can he open it just by himself? One person can't handle everything. So even when he have that heart, he can only let it drop. 
old third child is doing fine in the city. This year, he planned to copy eldest brother and come back to the village to build a brick house. Zhou Qingbai said. Old third is coming back to the village to build a brick house? Second brother was surprised. Yeah. Zhou Qingbai answered. Second brother couldn't help sighing again. He had asked old third before. Old third said that doing business was good. One won't do badly. All in all, it's not worse than doing farm work. But his wife refused to agree. Lin Qing, he didn't say much about this topic as the other would think that she is sowing discord between the husband and wife's relationship. However, it was okay for them brothers. She don't need to chip in. Chapter 450 Biased Toward First Branch In fact, in order to start a business, second brother had discussed it with second sister-in-law more than several times. At first, second brother wanted to raise livestock, like expanding the scale. Whether it's raising chickens or ducks, it was possible. He even thought about raising pigs, but these were all rejected by second sister-in-law. Later, second brother saw that his brother was doing well in the city and had some thoughts in his heart. What's more, he had asked his brother. His brother supported him very much and sympathized with his second brother who had no capital. He promised to lend him money. Doing to this point, this brother was truly more than a good brother, right? But second sister-in-law still won't budge, saying he was tossing around instead of properly farming. Where was his mind floating? Second sister-in-law's words sounded well-founded because she directly used first branch as an example. If doing business was really good, why didn't first branch do it? One must know that the relationship between eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law was much better than hers. Why didn't they call first branch instead of second branch? What's more, doing business wasn't risk-free. It looked fine now, but there was no guarantee that the past situation won't reappear in the future. What if there were more waves? What to do then? Farming was the safest option. However, second brother was anxious, really anxious. He just couldn't figure out how can farming be considered good. Like this year's summer harvest. After a whole year of hard work, there had been no harvest. How was farming better? Let's not mention Old Fourth's family who moved to the capital city and became a member of the big city. Instead, just Old Third's family that had moved to the city now. Their life was good. Eldest brother's family too. Air and I sent her salary back home. There was nimble worker C and I at home, who raised chickens, ducks and pigs. Their older son, Yang Yang, who was going to college, will have a stable job in the future. Eldest brother and eldest sister-in-law had built a bright brick house. There were four branches in the old Joe family. Only his second branch was still standing on the same spot after so many years. Second brother felt anxious thinking about it. The kind of anxiety that can't be said to the outside world. All the sufferings had to be swallowed into his stomach. Probably due to distress in his heart, Lin Qing, he and eldest sister-in-law Zhou heard the suppressed cry of second brother from outside after they finished eating first and the three of men continued to drink. Oh. Eldest sister-in-law couldn't help sighing. Lin Qing, he also didn't know what to say. In fact, the men of the old Zhou family really have one thing in common. That is, listening to their wife. Despite the way Qing Bai was, he got wife-obeying trait too. Otherwise, his life wouldn't be like that in the original book. It was just that after she came, he was guided astray by her a long time ago. Today's Zhou Qing Bai was different from a dozen years ago. Even like this, he wouldn't tell her off when she sometimes did something wrong and approached matters too decisively. He would only remedy it silently. Otherwise, how could Lin Qing, he, who consider herself a fierce woman, be a little woman when she met this guy? There was no doubt that she really loved her man. Of course, she knew well that her family's Qing Bai can't be without her. What was that phrase? When you meet the right person, you will not be willing to let them go. The direct manifestation was that when she sleeps at night, he had to hold her even when she find it too stuffy. 
During the day, he looked like a tough guy who was particularly rough and tough, but at night, he was very sticky. Second brother is suitable for doing business. Your eldest brother and I thinks it's a pretty good idea, but San Ni's mother refused to agree. Eldest sister-in-law said helplessly. Lin Qing, he made no comment. Even if she was sympathetic to second brother, she didn't talk about other people's affairs, casually. If there was any help needed, her family Qing Bai will naturally help his second brother. So having no opinion was her biggest support for second brother. Lin Qing, he went back to her place first. When she got back, Zhou Lu and I was unexpectedly waiting at the door. 17-year-old Zhou Lu and I wasn't too short and had become a young woman. But Lin Qing, he really didn't like the aura around her. Fourth aunt. Zhou Lu and I smiled. Is there something wrong, Lu and I? Lin Qing, he said, straightforwardly. Fourth aunt, I used to be young, ignorant, and didn't understand anything, just like a headless fly. Don't lower yourself to my level, replied Zhou Lu and I with a smile. Lin Qing, he stated, I didn't lower myself to your level. Aunt, I'm your niece. Now I'm at this age, do you have a vacancy on your side? Can you make a spot for me? I promise you, I will work hard. Absolutely won't be lazy. Zhou Lu and I promised Lin Qing, he really wanted to laugh. She looked at her and said, I will bring C and I over this year, so there is no shortage of people and no place to spare. Zhou Luni's face became stagnant. Her smile became a little forced, Aunt, you can't be so biased toward First Branch. What's more, First Branch built a brick house. Their life is so good, while my family remain the same. Sister Air and I already gone over. Now there is a vacancy, it should be given to me. What's more, Sister C and I has a lot of work to do. She has a lot of work and you don't have any? Also, you eldest aunt already agreed. When we leave, C and I will follow along. Lin Qing, he stated calmly. Fourth aunt, take me there. I really want to go to the capital. I won't cause trouble. Zhou Lu and I pleaded. Lin Qing, he ignored her, turned around, and entered the house. Zhou Lu and I venomously stared at her back. She was very clear that her fourth aunt wouldn't agree and it would be useless for her to continue to ask. She can only rush home angrily. Second sister-in-law was cleaning up the dishes. Seeing her come back, she scolded, You lazy girl, where did run off to and not even cleaning up the bowls? Mother, do you know that the fourth aunt is really too much? Zhou Lu and I gritted her teeth. You looked for her? Second sister-in-law responded and looked at her. Of course. I have to find her. Mother, Su Xing Mei is married to a guy from the capital. His family is said to be very rich. Now they called her brother Su Xing Chang over. How nice it'll be to go to the capital. Zhou Lu and I replied. The matter of Su Xing Mei's cousin ascended to a higher branch and turned into a phoenix was deeply printed into Zhou Luni's heart. She thought, if she stayed in the capital back then, she would definitely be able to marry a capital citizen, based on her ability. But her fourth aunt didn't agree. Instead, she promised to let Su Xing Mei go there and marry so well. You gone over, so what did she say? Did she agree? Second sister-in-law said. Naturally, she had such idea in her heart. This second daughter wasn't like her eldest daughter who was similar to a wooden stake. She was clever. If she goes to the capital, it is really possible to marry a rich person in the capital. Chapter 451 Fellow Villagers It's fine if she doesn't agree. But not only did she disagree, she also told me that she is going to take C and I over. Mother, did you hear that? She wants to bring C and I over. She has already brought Air and I from first branch over. Now she's taking C and I over, but not me. Zhou Lu and I angrily uttered. Second sister-in-law became motionless. Mother, say isn't she looking down on our second branch? It's because there's a college student in first branch and third branch, she's closer to those two branches and doesn't want to interact with our second branch. 
Zhou Lu and I was so angry that she was about to breathe fire. She really wanted to go to the capital. Especially wanted to go to the capital, but she couldn't go. That fourth aunt was too hard-hearted. She was so young back then and finally made it. However, she didn't even let her stay one night and sent her back directly. Now that she had grown up, she will definitely not hold with her if she goes over again. So she went to ask her, but she still disallow it. Second sister-in-law was silent with solemn face. After Zhou Lu and I complained about Lin Qinghe, she couldn't help but came out and find a loafer in the village. The loafer heard her complain and responded, Who can you blame? Blame your mother for not having a good relationship with her. Your two aunt is close to your fourth aunt. She is definitely going to take care of him. Your mother give her attitude. It would be weird if she can take care of you. Why are you still talking about my mother? Zhou Lu and I was dissatisfied. Then what I'm saying isn't the truth. The loafer said, Teacher Lin is a nice person. He was about the same age as Zhou Kai. Back then, who in their age didn't envy Zhou Kai and his brothers for having a mother like Teacher Lin? Teacher Lin wasn't stingy. This loafer had come knocking to ask for water before. He was too hungry then. At that time, Teacher Lin was cooking and gave him a small sweet potato. Zhou Kai and the others had such a mother made people extremely envious. Zhou Lu and I was originally dissatisfied, but in truth, what the loafer said made some sense. Wasn't it because her mother had a bad relationship with her fourth aunt? Her eldest aunt would talk to her fourth aunt on the phone every month, while her mother can't say a word for the end of the year. So Zhou Lu and I went home again to look for her mother. Second sister-in-law greeted her with a slap in the face, you don't have the capability and dare to ask me to curry favor with her? You hoof, want some beating, don't you? Zhou Lu and I ran out crying. When second brother came home, he happened to see her running out. What did Lu and I do to you for you to hit her? Second brother said. Why did I beat her? She went to find her fourth aunt and wanted to go to the capital with her. Her fourth aunt wanted to take CNI instead of her, so she cried. Second sister-in-law coldly snorted. Second brother frowned upon hearing this, CNI is a nimble worker. With the way Lu NI is, isn't it too embarrassing to compare with CNI? Second sister-in-law was originally just complaining to him. When she heard this, she was annoyed, what? Other people's daughters are good, but our own daughter isn't? Then go to be someone else's father. What kind of father are you for Lu and I? Second brother scolded, what are you talking about? Comparing Lu and I with C and I? It's can't even match a strand of Sini's hair. It's not that he wanted to belittle his second daughter. Typically she did nothing, ate everything clean, be lazy to death, and committed thieving acts. While his niece, C and I? She was a good hand in and out of the house. With her in the house, there is no need for her mother to get her hands dirty at all. Wasn't it normal for Fourth's wife to want C and I and not Lu and I? Moreover, with his daughter's personality, nine out of ten, she will cause trouble when she goes over. Better for her to not go over. Just patiently wait until she's 18 next year and married her directly. Second sister-in-law was infuriated, instead of standing on the family's side, you always help outsiders. I have never seen anyone act like you. Second brother had enough of her her and went straight back to the room. Lin Qing, he didn't know that there was a quarrel in the second branch. Still, she didn't bother to pay attention. Zhou Qing Bai returned drunk. Lin Qing, he fetched some water to wash face and said, why drink so much? Not much. Zhou Qing Bai shook her hand and said. Seeing his second brother's aggrieved appearance, Zhou Qing Bai realized the importance of marrying a good wife. For some unknown reason, he had a feeling that his original life was supposed to be like his second brother's. It shouldn't be far off. But because of his wife, he took another path. A steady path that made him feel very happy. Lin Qing, he didn't know what he was thinking, and said, hurry up and wash your face. 
Go lie down after washing. When are we going to San Ni's side? Zhou Qingbai spoke. Early tomorrow morning. Let's go over and let Zhou Dong host a dinner tonight. Lin Qing, he smilingly replied. Zhou Qingbai nodded with a smile, but requested his wife to wash his face. Lin Qing, he gave him an eye roll, already a growth adult. Though she said that, she still washed his face and hands before sending him back to the room to rest. Lin Qing, he was going to lie down with him, but Mrs. Kai came over. Lin Qing, he came out to talk to Mrs. Kai. After chatting with Mrs. Kai for a while, Zhou Dong came over and made a special reservation, Auntie, come over tonight to my home for dinner with my uncle. After coming back so many times, you haven't eaten at our place once. You must come over tonight. I was just saying that I was going to your place to have a meal tonight and now you came here. Then your uncle and I will not be polite with you. Lin Qing, he jollily uttered. Of course, you must go over for a meal. Zhou Dong, cook a few more dishes tonight. I will go there too. Mrs. Kai said with a smile. No problem. Zhou Dong merrily responded. He took a detour first and went to notify eldest brother and eldest sister-in-law to prevent them from making too much. Mrs. Kai continued to chatter with Lin Qing He. Lin Qing, he had a great conversation with her. After a while, Mrs. Kai returned. Lin Qing, he went back to the room to rest with Zhou Qing Bai. Seeing no one was around, she took out an electric fan to use. The house got electricity now, which included this room. The couple slept until after four o'clock. They had woke up too early in the morning. Wash your face. We'll go over and wait at Zhou Dong and Ba Mei's place to eat. Lin Qing, he said with a smile. They didn't go there empty-handed. They brought a jar of milk powder, a jar of malt milk extract, and two packets of white rabbit candies. When they arrived, Zhou Dong was chopping chicken and Kai Ba Mei was already cooking at the stove. Mrs. Kai was watching TV with her grandchildren in the room. Uncle, aunt, go in and watch TV. It will be ready to eat soon. Zhou Dong said with a smile. You only need to bring yourself. Why bring so many supplements? Mrs. Kai spoke. For the children. With more nourishment, they will grow taller in the future. Lin Qing, he smiled. Chapter 452 Like the other party at Zhou Dong's place, Zhou Dong and Kai Ba Mei warmly entertained them. In addition to Mrs. Kai Ante, both the guests and the hosts had a wonderful meal. As for Zhou Dong's current development, he was quite successful this year's natural disaster hadn't affected Zhou Dong much. The crops in the ground were naturally lost, but he was also decisive. He had kept Lin Qing, his words about chicken plague and the like were prone to appear after heavy rains in mind. So when it rained heavily, he contacted third brother Lin and sold all the hundreds of chickens in his hand. His side helped kill them. When he was finished, he called third brother Lin to drive over and sell them off. They were all killed while they were alive. So, all the chickens in his hand were gotten rid of during heavy rains. Although there was no income when it was emptied, the disinfection of the chicken shed was done very well, so nothing happened. But there was a family in the village who really suffered from chicken plague and all of their chicken died. This kind of chicken cannot be eaten. One can only dig a pit and bury them. That loss was what one called disastrous. Now there were new chickens in the chicken shed. They hadn't grown up yet. But this year, they will not have no income. The money will be earned. Auntie, I have a plan. Zhou Dong said to Lin Qing He. What plan? Lin Qing He asked. I want to fence up all my plots and use them all to raise chickens. Zhou Dong stated. Lin Qing, he grinned when she heard these words, not a bad idea. The land site cannot be bought or sold yet. If you can buy it, buy it and build a large chicken farm. You can't buy land site. Mrs. Kai said hurriedly after hearing this. The allocation was fine. 
But if one was to buy it, what to do when beating landlord and so on occur again in the future? Lin Qing, he smiled and didn't remark much. She just said to Zhou Dong, if you want to do it, do it. If you can't do it by yourself, it's no big deal to hire two more people. It won't be uneconomical. N. Zhou Dong nodded. Actually, there's quite a lot out in the back. Mrs. Kai said hesitatingly, also, by raising so many, how will the eggs be sold in the future? Just a was two uncle's shop can't handle it all. Generally speaking, they can. Depends on the price. If one buy five genes of eggs and they get two eggs free. I estimate no matter how many eggs, it can be sold out. Lin Qing, he smilingly assured. This method is good. Kai Bame grinned. Kai Bame used to have a very quiet temperament, but now she was more open-minded and hearty. Pickled eggs are also good. Zhou Qing Bai finished his meal and also suggested an idea. That's right. These are all options. You can also contact other people and ask if they will come to pick up the goods from you. Of course, the premise is that you have to have that scale. Your chicken farm's top most must remember thing is choose to earn less and make sure hygiene is taken care of. Lin Qing, he advised. I will. Zhou Dong got approval from her and knew that his idea was indeed feasible. He was overjoyed. Stay put for two years first. Don't think about it this year or next year. The year after that, if you want to do it, feel free to. You got to save up some capital. Once you increase the scale, there are risks. Lin Qing, he stated. I know this. Zhou Dong nodded. Mrs. Kai went back first because she still had something to do. Seeing that she was going back, Kai Bame went out to send her off. Lin Qing, he just smiled, if you do business, it is better to do business by yourself while partnering with someone. If they are good, it's okay. If they aren't, there might be some conflicts. Auntie, I understand. Zhou Dong nodded. He knew that Lin Qing, he was looking out for his best interest. It was why she would say this to him. Now the conditions are getting better and better. Few households in the village can afford a TV. You already bought one. Lin Qing, he smiled. Just installing one for the family. Zhou Dong grinned. But really, looking at the village now, the conditions of his family were quite good. The village branch secretary had asked him if he want to be labeled as a 10,000 yuan household. In fact, Zhou Dong hadn't meet the requirement for 10,000 yuan's households. Sink Ehe was short, forget it. If it can be reported, then it was possible. However, he didn't have any vanity in this aspect. He felt it was better to be a low-key person. Especially, their income shouldn't be exposed. So he refused. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai didn't stay too long. They came to sit at eldest brother and eldest sister-in-law's home. Really you guys. You ran over to Zhou Dong's place to eat. Eldest sister-in-law said. It's not a big deal. We watched Zhou Dong grow up. Now that he is successful, we must go over enjoy a meal of his. Lin Qing, he smilingly replied. Zhou Dong is really promising now. The chickens are raised very well. If it weren't for the storm this year, your third brother would have to come and carry a cart of eggs every second day. Eldest sister-in-law commented. Nowadays, the price of eggs had risen. It used to be only three or four dimes. Now a gene of eggs can sell for more than five dimes one gene was fifty-something cents. Ten genes meant five yuan or so. A cart full of eggs got to be a dozen to twenty genes, right? How much was it in a month? And the income from grown chickens. Wasn't this very profitable? I remember you said you want to expand the scale of raising ducks. Why didn't you raise more now? Lin Qing, he chattered. That's because Sini's father keep nagging non-stop. When C and I goes to the capital with you, I won't go to work and manage these at home. I'm going to buy more ducklings back. 
eldest sister-in-law responded. It was easy to raise them. Just heard them out and let them eat small fish and shrimps in the river by themselves. How easy it is to let eldest brother herd them to the small river when he goes to work, it didn't take much to drive the ducks back when he had home. She was at home by herself. She planned to get an extra pig back to raise. Also, the quantity of chickens needs to increase. However, she can let it drop this year. Air and I will bring son-in-law back at the end of this year. She plans to dispose of all the livestock at home before they come back and just leave some live one for the new year. Those outside of the house must be cleaned. The dishes, chopsticks, cups, and the likes have been bought. All in all, she can't let son-in-law feel that the house is dirty and unclean. It's shameful to not have him have a meal at home. Although Lin Qinghe's words can be trusted, eldest sister-in-law was still nervous. How can she not be nervous? A son-in-law from the capital. It was said that he was wealthier than Zhao family. She didn't hope for much. The conditions at home weren't bad. They really didn't need their daughter to support her maternal family in the future. In conclusion, don't let son-in-law look down their family and belittle their daughter in the future. In fact, from the very beginning, she didn't even think about letting her daughter go there to marry into the capital city. However, fate is something that can't be done when you encounter it. She chatted with her daughter over the phone. How can she not tell that her daughter likes the other party? Like this, it can only be better. Chapter 453 Encounter Li Ai Guo Lin Qing He didn't know about eldest sister-in-law's plan. They sat and chatted in their home. When it was almost 8 o'clock, they went back to their place. Zhou Qingbai said, get some mosquito incense, to burn. Before Lin Qing, he came back, she made preparations. She had bought the mosquito incenses, as well as cooling oil. She gave some to Zhou Qingbai, to lit up. She also rubbed some cooling oil. Can't be helped, there was too many mosquitoes in the countryside. They bite people very fiercely. The couple put down the mosquito nets and plugged in the fans before they went to bed on the calm. Don't you find it stuffy? Go to sleep a little bit over. Lin Qing, he uttered. The sound outside is very nice. Zhou Qingbai remarked and hugged her without moving away. Outside were the sounds of crickets. There were occasional dog barks from the distance. It sounded quite nice. It was a unique scenery of the countryside. Lin Qing, he poked him in the chest and said, isn't it hot? It was fine in the winter. As for summer, she really didn't want to be hugged to sleep by him. Without air conditioning, it was really uncomfortable. You can't sleep? Zhou Qingbai responded. It's too hot to sleep. Lin Qing, he muttered. Zhou Qingbai let her know what was really hot. After that Lin Qing, he stopped acting up. It was a rare opportunity to go back to their hometown, so the couple slept very sweetly. When they got up early the next morning, they heard someone fighting. Eldest sister-in-law, what's the matter? Eldest sister-in-law came to call the two of them to come over for breakfast and Lin Qing, he asked. Because Zhou Qingbai was present, eldest sister-in-law didn't say anything. When Zhou Qingbai head over first, she answered Lin Qinghe, it's that people harming Wang Ling? Wang Ling? Lin Qing, he couldn't remember who this was. It's old third ma's former wife. She had a good relationship with Luni's mother. Eldest sister-in-law reminded. Only then, Lin Qing, he remembered that she was the one who had hooked up with her brother-in-law, old fourth ma, and got caught in bed by the whole family. Later, she had hooked up with another man in the village and gotten her head shaved into Yin and Yang style and paraded around the street. It was said the guy was beaten into an eunuch. After all, the whole village only produced this one bug. So Lin Qing, he remembered when she reminded by eldest sister-in-law. But what does this matter have to do with her? Isn't that old Huang family? Lin Qing, he asked. Mrs. Huang had exchanged brown sugar with her before. Old Huang family's reputation had always been pretty good. For some unknown reason, there was trouble early in the morning. 
so she asked about it. Eldest sister-in-law told her what good thing old third Huang did. He secretly went to Wang Ling's place to eat wild food. Everyone knew what wild food meant. It didn't end with eating wild food. He also brought the disease back to old third Huang's wife. Old third Huang's wife went for an inspection yesterday. She didn't have time to come back and stayed in the city for one night. She returned with her maternal brother this morning and instantly beat old third Huang. That woman Wang Ling is so bad. Old third Huang seemed good before. Who would have thought that he was this kind of person? Eldest sister-in-law scolded. Wang Ling's side was where the unscrupulous man in the village go for entertainment. As long as they have three to five yuan, they can go. She should be glad of this moment. If it were back in the past, who would allow her to remain? It wasn't hard to guess that woman got the disease. But old third Huang was truly a surprise. Lin Qing, he knew old third Huang's wife and knew she was a good woman. But she didn't expect such a thing to happen, so she sneered, these men, the shit outside is fragrant if they haven't eaten it. Now they're fighting to get a divorce. Eldest sister-in-law sighed. Of course, they must divorce. Why not? Lin Qing, he found it as natural course of action. Eldest sister-in-law was shocked, this, how does this work? There are still three children. If they get divorced, what about the three children? What iniquity? Lin Qing, he cursed. She can't say anything, but it was really like this in the countryside. Women don't have independent sources of income. Even if something like this happens, nine out of ten people around would persuade them to not divorce. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai came over for breakfast. When they finished eating, they set off to Lijia village, where Zhou San and I and Li Aigua were. Zhou Qing Bai cycled the bicycle. Lin Qing, he also rode one herself, because she didn't need him to carry her on such long road. Then Lin Qing, he talked to Zhou Qing Bai about the old third Huang's family. This is simply shameful. Zhou Qing Bai coldly harumphed after listening. Old Third Huang and him were playmates. But at this moment, he didn't hesitate to criticize him. His desire to survive was extremely strong. Because of his attitude, Lin Qing he calmed down and said, Well, it is Old Third Huang's wife. If it was a capable woman, she'll divorce him and move away with the three children. Then find a better one later and let old third Huang's three children call another father. See who is better off than who and who is worse than who. Zhou Qing Bai's corner of his mouth twitched. His wife's mind was really ruthless. Let the three children call another father and remarry another. Zhou Qing Bai suddenly wanted to ask if she planned to not live with him when she first came back and wanted to divorce with him and take the three children? After all, at that time, she didn't even let him enter her room door. Zhou Qing Bai stared at his wife. Lin Qing, he raised her chin and said, What are you looking at? Nothing. Zhou Qing Bai continued to watch the road and spoke, Old Third Huang certainly did things wrong. But not every woman has the ability. Three children are hard to raise. Lin Qing, he was almost disgusted to death and responded, Don't talk about this with me. Woman will always be the one who suffers from this matter. Zhou Qing Bai didn't say anything. Lin Qing, he didn't let him go and continued, Do you have any thoughts in that regard? Now you have money, don't appear old, and look strong. Did any of those beautiful girls send you letters? Aunt Ma can testify for me. What's more, I only like my wife. Zhou Qingbai said without turning his face. Lin Qing, he just snorted and let him off. Lijia village in the next county wasn't close. Right now, the road was easy. If it was rainy, it will be a muddy road. It wasn't early when they reached that side. This brother, may I ask, how do I get to Lijia village? Lin Qing, he saw a man driving an ox cart, stopped with Zhou Qing Bai, and asked. The man who drove the ox cart looked at them in response and said, Why are you heading to Lijia village? Looking for relatives. My niece married to there, but we haven't been there yet. 
We came to see her. Lin Qing, he explained. It just so happens that I'm from Lijia village. Follow me. Li Ai Gua, who was driving the ox cart, examined them and nodded. You're from Lijia village. Then do you know Li Ai Gua? Lin Qing, he asked. Huh? Li Ai Gua was stunned for a moment. Then responded without any irregularities, Why are you looking for Li Ai Gua? You are Li Ai Gua? Zhou Qingbai glanced at his feet, then swept his gaze toward him. Chapter 454 Li Jia Village, seeing San and Ai Li Ai Gua, didn't expect that he would recognize him. Then he thought of Lin Qing, his sentence about her niece marrying to there. He vaguely guessed the identity of the two, but he didn't dare to recognize. Are you Li Ai Gua? Lin Qing, he looked at him in bewilderment. It was really fate. They ran into this nephew-in-law when they came to this town. His appearance wasn't bad, but it seems that his age wasn't young. Yes. Li Ai Gua nodded calmly. San and I is your wife? Lin Qing, he raised an eyebrow. Are you fourth uncle and fourth aunt? Li Ai Gua looked at them and said. His wife introduced him to her maternal family. And the ones who was introduced to him carefully was her fourth uncle and fourth aunt. When his wife married over, she brought him a watch. That watch was currently on his wrist. In addition, there was a dowry of 100 yuans. These were given by her fourth uncle and fourth aunt. He also knew that they were both in the capital, so he didn't dare to recognize them at first. After all, these two didn't look like people in their early forties. They were so young and so handsome. But now, Li Ai Gua asked this. If San and I doesn't have any other fourth uncle and aunt, then it would probably be us. Lin Qing, he said with a smile. Fourth uncle and fourth aunt, why did you come from such a long way? It is too hot. After confirming their identity, Li Ai Gua said quickly. He got off of the ox cart and went to buy two popsicles. Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai. However, they didn't refuse his kindness and took it. It was really hot today. Eating a popsicle was a good way to cool off the heat. We came back and heard that there was heavy rain this year, which caused no harvest from the fields. Lin Qing He said. Yeah, it made people unsettled at that time. Li Ai Gua nodded. After all, their generation had been hungry before, so food was extremely important. A bad harvest would definitely ignite panic. How come you're out today? Zhou Qingbai asked him. We've stocked up some wild products at home. I took it out sell them. Li Ai Guo replied. I heard from your third aunt. You plan to open a shop in our county city? Lin Qing, he asked him. Li Ai Guo shook his head, just asking. He actually had that intention. The county next door was more lively than theirs. He felt that if he went there to do business, it wouldn't be too bad. San and I also need to go to the city for treatment. But starting a business wasn't that easy. His leg was bad. Where can he go to receive the goods and how to collect the goods? In fact, he can hire people. But it's not easy to hire, because people will want to do it themselves. So can he still find people one after another? Then they want to do it themselves? In the end, have to do it himself. If he can't do it himself, so forget it. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai ate the popsicles and followed him on the mountain road. This mountain road was safe, not the kind of cliff road. It was just a bit further to get to Li Jia village. This was no problem. This ox cart is yours? Lin Qing, he asked. No, it's our village branch secretaries. I just borrow it. Li Ai Guo responded. What do you normally rely on to make a living? Lin Qing, he continued. Farming and go to the mountains to get some wild goods to dry and store. Li Ai Guo didn't mind Lin Qing he's questions. After all, only those who really care about San and I would ask more. At the beginning of the year, he took San and I back all the way back. 
His mother-in-law only had her eyes on those sweets. She didn't even bother about anything else. San and I stay at home? Lin Ching, he said. N. Raising chickens, feeding pigs, and cooking at home. Li Ai Gua nodded. Lin Ching, he nodded. As for San Ni's health, she didn't ask him a word. When they get to Li Jia village and San and I, she can ask San and I then. Li Jia village was indeed a remote mountain village. It took about an hour and a half to reach there from the town. The mountain road wasn't easy to travel on. When they arrived at Li Jia village, they realized why Li Ai Gua almost couldn't marry a daughter wife. It was really. Normal girls wouldn't really be willing to marry to such a mountainous area. At first glance, it was very poor. Out of the whole village, one couldn't spot more than a few brick houses. Which was incomparable with Zhou Jia village. In Zhou Jia village, there were two 10,000 yuan households, and more than ten had built brick houses, like eldest brother. Li Ai Guo was a little embarrassed when he took in Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai's gaze, and said, Li Jia village is too far away. It's not easy to catch a market. It's a little poor. Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai didn't say anything about it. The geographical location was bad, so it can't be helped. Their ancestors had lived here for generations. Although they were poor, they always managed to survive. But even when it was Zhou Qing Bai who had seen the outside world, he would not be willing if one told him to come back to this kind of village again. To put it more loosely, Li Jia village's side was far worse than Zhou Jia village. They followed Li Ai Gua to the village branch secretary's house to return the ox cart. On the way, he gave the village branch secretary the brown sugar, cup and other things he wanted to buy. Li Jia village's village branch secretary's gaze fell on the extraordinary temperament of Zhou Qing Bai and Lin Qing He. He quickly sorted himself up and asked, Ai Gua, who are these two? Both pushed a bicycle alone. Whether it was their look or aura, they seem like professionals, right? They're from my wife's maternal family. My fourth uncle and fourth aunt. Li Ai Gua answered. It turned out to be your uncle and aunt from your wife's side. The village party secretary was enlightened. We'll end the talk here. We're going back first. Li Ai Gua said. The village branch secretary nodded and watched them go. His wife, who was beside him, said, What amazing people. What aura Ai Gua's wife's maternal uncle and aunt have? If they didn't say, I would think it was a director from the city. Doesn't look like ordinary people. The village branch secretary nodded. Which ordinary people have such magnificent aura? I have never heard of Ai Gua's wife mentioning this, said village branch secretary's wife. Back to Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai, who were following Li Ai Gua. They encountered many people of Li Jia village. They all asked Li Ai Gua, and Li Ai Gua responded one by one. So when Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai reached Li Ai Gua's home, it was spread all over Li Jia village almost spread it all over. They were all wondering whether Ai Gua's wife's relatives were government official? They looked really extraordinary. Li Ai Gua's siblings caught a wind of it and looked at each other. They never heard of Ai Gua's wife's family were so powerful? But regardless of these, Lin Qing, He, and Zhou Qing Bai arrived at Li Ai Gua's home. Before entering, they saw Zhou San and I by the fence chopping sweet potato vines, which was going to be boiled and fed to the pigs. San and I? Lin Qing, He greeted when she saw her. Zhou San and I thought it was an illusion. When she turned around to see her fourth uncle and fourth aunt, she was shocked. The tears burst out immediately. Chapter 455, Getting Pregnant Isn't Easy, Zhou San and I didn't know why she cried. In short, seeing her fourth uncle and fourth aunt, the pain and grievances in her heart could no longer be suppressed. Tears involuntarily flowed out. Don't cry. Our upright body aren't afraid of leaning shadows. There is nothing to cry. Any kind of grievance, it is not a problem for us. With one step, it is past. Lin Qing, he came over, 
took out a handkerchief to wipe Zhou San Ni's tears and said seriously. She naturally knew Zhou San and I was under a lot of pressure. A woman with abnormal period cannot get pregnant. No matter which age, this wasn't a small matter, especially in such remote and backward small villages. It was fine if others didn't know. Once they do, the saliva behind the scene can drown people Lin Qing, he can't imagine how great the pressure was. Zhou Qing Bai glanced at Li Aigua. Li Aigua scratched his head. He didn't know what to say, but he didn't bully his little wife. I'm fine. Fourth uncle, fourth aunt, don't worry. I'm just happy to see you. I couldn't control the tears. Aigua treats me well and no mistreatment. Zhou San and I sincerely smile through the tears. It had been a long time since she saw her say so much at once. Lin Qing, he smiled and said, you scared me just now. I was thinking Aigua bullied you and I won't let him go then. Zhou San and I pursed her mouth and hurried to wash her hands. Fourth uncle and fourth aunt, sit down. I'll pour you water. No need to pour water. I ate popsicles before coming. Aigua bought it for us. Lin Qing, he responded. You came here on a hot day, you have to drink water, Zhou San and I persisted and then went to wash the cups and poured water. Lin Qing, he took a sip and gave it to Zhou Qing Bai, who drank everything. It was already time for lunch. This was the disadvantage of Li Jia village's isolation from the outside world. Li Aigua only finished one matter this morning, pulling the accumulated goods out and back. Basically half a day passed. Li Aigua was killing a chicken and plucking the feathers. It was like this here. Important guests come to the house, then a chicken must be killed to entertain. There were still some mushrooms left at home. Lin Qing, he jollily remarked, living in the mountains makes it convenient for you to eat these. When we were in the capital, I was pining for these. There were hills in Zhou Jia village too. But it wasn't suitable. There were basically less wild forage and got animals. There weren't many of these wild animals. At most, they can dig some wild vegetables and pick some mushrooms after the rain. This time it was mostly sold off by Aigua. Next time you come back, auntie, I will set aside some for you. Other stuff, there's not much. Only bountiful in these things. Zhou San and I said. Lin Qing, he liked her a lot more like this. She felt that San and I had changed a lot after her marriage. From this point, it could be seen that Li Aigua was good to her. Next time. Let's eat first. Lin Qing, he smiled. Although there was no special preparation done in advance, the fried chicken with mushrooms was still delicious. The rest, cabbage, scrambled eggs and the like were considered excellent dishes when put together. All natural and taste very good. After eating, Zhou Qing Bai directed at Li Aigua. Aigua, take me around. N. Li Aigua nodded and took Zhou Qing Bai out. Li Jia village was indeed poor. Most of them were adobe houses. Only a scattered few were half brick houses. Such conditions were poor. Which mountain do you normally go to? Zhou Qing Bai asked. Just that mountain. It is public space. There are a lot of wild goods in it. Li Aigua pointed to a mountain and said. Honestly, they were poorer here, but as long as they have the ability, they will not lack food or drink. Because they can rely the mountains for food and water. With these hills in all directions, they can eat mountain treasures. In the past, during the Great Famine, they relied on wild goods in the mountains to survive. Zhou Qingbai saw it wasn't far and said, Come with me. His wife likes to eat delicacies from mountains and sea. There was a whole truck full of seafood, but no mountain goods yet. So he made the most of this trip to gather some back. Going now? Li Aigua was shocked. He didn't expect this fourth uncle to want to go up. Otherwise, what do you think I grabbed this bag? Zhou Qingbai held a snakeskin bag in his hand, which wasn't small. 
Li Aigua recalled what his wife had said to him. Fourth uncle treated fourth aunt quite well. He somewhat guessed why fourth uncle suddenly said he wanted to enter the mountain. Probably because of what fourth aunt said just now. Li Aigua immediately grinned. He was also a wife daughter, so he took Zhou Qingbai up the mountain without another word. When the two men went up the mountain, Lin Qing, he was waiting for Zhou San and I to finish with the dishes. After she finished washing, she spoke, San and I, come here. Let's chat, fourth aunt, you don't have to worry about me. Aigua really loves me. Zhou San and I said happily, fourth aunt knows. Fourth aunt can still see this. Lin Qing, he nodded and said, fourth aunt wants to ask, how's your period right now? There was no need to be embarrassed talking about this between women themselves. Zhou San Ni's face ashen slightly and replied, Did third aunt tell fourth aunt? N. Don't blame your third aunt for talking too much. She is also worried about you. We watched you grow up and hope for the best for you. Lin Qing has said. I know. Zhou San and I nodded. How is it now? Lin Qing, he asked, seeing her pale face. Fourth aunt, I don't know what's going on. But it is abnormal. I went to the hospital to buy medicine back to consume. Although it improved a bit, it's still messed up. Never on time. Zhou San and I replied. After Zhou San and I got married, her life was still very smooth. Although her mother-in-law and sisters-in-law weren't easy to get along with, she wasn't afraid at all. Because before she got married, her family had separated off. Even when Li Aigua married her, her parents-in-law didn't pay a penny. It was fine if the son made money to marry his wife. However the sisters-in-law above all received gift money from the old couple. So on Zhou San and I wasn't a head shorter, especially since Li Aigua treated her nice and truly doted her. After marrying, she felt like she had been reborn. If she could give birth a child for Aigua, she would feel complete. But who could have known that something like this happened to her body? In fact, it used to be like this occasionally when she was unmarried. But she didn't understand these things, and her mother never cared about it. What's more, it was too embarrassing to open her mouth on this matter. She never thought the problem was so big? After going to the hospital for an examination and the doctor criticized her, she realized the seriousness of the matter. If this wasn't managed well, it won't be easy to get pregnant in the future. One sentence was simply like lightning striking down. Chapter 456 She got her maternal family behind her, beside this matter, she had went to look for her third aunt. Her third aunt took her to the hospital again, but in the end, nothing could be done. As for her maternal home, Zhou San and I didn't go back. After Zhou San and I followed Li Aigua back to the village, she kind of wanted Li Aigua to find another one. And they quarreled over this matter. After this fight and crying out, Zhou San and I calmed down. Still, this girl had always been kind. She didn't know then that her mother-in-law couldn't stand her. She had held hope, thinking that Li Aigua was her son. She didn't know that her generation favored the children above. So she went to Li Aigua's mother to talk about it. Well, what do you know? This matter was blown up in all of Lijia village. Zhou San and I was berated by Li Aigua's mother, saying that her mother's family were crooks. They married off such a sick girl and dared to collect 400 yuan as a gift money. Simply opening lion mouth. It was spread throughout the entire Lijia village. Zhou San and I was infuriated. After Li Aigua knew about it, he went to talk to his mother. But in the end, nothing can be done. The entire Li Jia village knew about it. People often talked about in the shadow. However, before Li Aigua married, his name was already slandered. He wasn't afraid of making trouble. Whoever dared to talk behind their back and he encountered it, he won't hold back. Even when it was a woman, he can retort back until they lose face. Like this, it made people persisted on saying a lame was a match with a hen who can't lay eggs. It was almost a crow landing on a pig.
each can't dislike the other. Still, Lijia Village had some kind family, and they gave Zhou, San and I a lot of good advice. In addition, Li Ai Guo was considered quite well off in Lijia Village. So beside being badmouthed by some malicious people, Zhou San Ni's life was okay. It was just it had been almost a year since they got married and there was no good news. Zhou San and I was comforted by Li Ai Guo. She didn't show it on her face, but this incident lurked in her heart. Can't get pregnant was every woman's pain. When Lin Qing he heard that Li Ai Guo's mother didn't help her daughter-in-law, but instead went out to publicize the matter, her expression sank. Originally, she was thinking of dropping by since it was a rare visit over. Even if the relationship was SOSO. She came as an elder after all. But now, Lin Qing, he wasn't going to be polite at all. Too lazy to perfunctory. I heard that Ai Guo want to go to your third uncle's side to open a shop. Lin Qing, he asked. He's doing it for me. He want me to live closer to the hospital. His legs aren't convenient, how can he do business in the city? I'm not useful. It won't work out. Zhou San and I shook her head. Then you're giving up hope? Lin Qing, he said. No. I'm trying to strengthen my body right now. A chicken is killed and stewed every half a month. No one in the village is as extravagant as me. Zhou San and I smiled. Although the smile was forced, there was radiance. Your fourth aunt, I was almost drowned by the saliva from those in the village before. Lin Qing, he said, you know what they said at that time. Saying that your fourth uncle married me, a lazy and gluttonous woman. Simply so unlucky for few lifetime. Did you see me take those words to my heart? If I was a little weaker, how would I have the present life? We women have to be tougher, regardless of the east and west winds. We must bite down hard on the green mountain and not loosen up. Zhou San and I said, I know. Although the old lady is horrible and I hate her in my heart, I remember that I have to live a good life and make her feel uncomfortable after seeing it. That's the right mindset. Lin Qing, he encouraged. Although Zhou San and I had a heavy heart, she couldn't help but want to smile at the thought of her fourth aunt teaching her this. Besides seeing you, this time we came back, we plan to take C and I to the capital. Lin Qing, he stated. It's good to take C and I over. C and I works neatly and swiftly. What's more, she's obedient. She's similar to Sister Air and I. She will be a good helper when she goes over. Zhou San and I nodded. Although she envied her, she didn't have much to say, because Air and I and San C and I were all literate. What's more, they were capable. However, Fourth Aunt is going to open another shop there. Still short two people. Lin Qing, he looked at her and said. Zhou San and I was paused and puzzledly looked at her fourth aunt. The hospital in the capital is much better than the county hospital here. Now that you're health at like this, fourth aunt won't at ease when going back. So fourth aunt pulling your fourth uncle over. I want to ask you, do you want to go to the capital with your fourth uncle and fourth aunt? Your grandparents, your youngest aunt, uncle and others are all there. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou San Ni's heartbeat speed up a little, fourth aunt, Ai Gua, and I, we don't understand those stuff. If they can go to the capital, then she naturally wants to go. But she had no confidence. She didn't know many words and weren't as nimble as Air and I, C and I, and others. Ai Gua's feet were inconvenient. Just watching the shop over there. It's dried goods. It will not be difficult. Everything is clearly marked and sell according to the price. I plan to leave the shop to you husband and wife to manage. The salary is 80 yuan a month, but I won't provide you with food and shelter. You'll have to go out and rent a house by yourself. Once you have money, you can buy a place yourself. Lin Qing, he said. 80 yuan a month is too much. Zhou San and I hurriedly said. Not much. 40 yuan per person, 80 yuan for two is just right. 
What's more, when you go there, you have to rent a house and be responsible for living expenses. So you can only save half of the money. Lin Ching, he explained. This year was already 1983. The wages had increased everywhere. After all, prices had increased. Still, 40 yuan wasn't a small amount. Only in the next few years, the prices will be rising like it was flying. Fourth aunt, if you are really short of people, I, I'm willing to go. Aigua won't have any objections. Zhou Sen and I basically had no other hesitation. You still have to ask Aigua about this. Lin Qing, he said. The hospital in the capital is better. He won't have any complaints. Besides, you have arranged a job for us, fourth aunt. We have a guarantee when we go there. Everything is thought out for us. What need is there to hesitate? Zhou Sen and I responded. She was afraid that she would not be able to go to the capital if she was one step too late. It wasn't because she wanted to go there to live a good life. But rather her maternal family and the capital's hospital were there. What's more, Lijia Village knew about her illness. Under the premise of having a choice, she really didn't want to stay. Chapter 457, Going Solo, Sen and I had decided this matter. Basically, they were going. Normally, Li Aigua wouldn't object. Lin Qing, he understood, and said, how will you deal with the stuff at home? Zhou Sen and I was obviously a diligent person. There were two pigs and a dozen chickens in the backyard. Quite an amount to handle. At least the family will never be without eggs. Easy. Just transfer it to our village branch secretary. His family got a new daughter-in-law this year. With her at home, so they can handle it. Zhou Sam and I instantly answered. After confirming that they were going to the capital with her fourth aunt, the invisible boulder pressed against Zhou Sen Ni's heart seemed to have disappeared. Her whole body glowed with a sincere smile. But I'm still a bit worried. If you go to the capital, will you bring Lu and I over? Lin Qing, he said without mentioning that it was eldest sister-in-law who brought it up, fourth aunt, don't worry. It's impossible for me to take Lu and I, that lazy bum. I grew up with her, I know exactly what her character is. Zhou Sen and I directly replied. Lin Qing, he smiled and nodded, I know. Just giving you some vaccination. Fourth aunt had tripped up with Su Xing Mei once. I do not want to trip up a second time. What's the matter? Zhou Sen and I was taken aback and asked in puzzlement. She knew this cousin, Su Xing Mei, had married to a man from the capital. She thought it was her fourth aunt who introduced him to her. But now it seems there was an inside story? Because when they go there, she have to let Zhou Sen and I put up her guard and not get played around by Su Xing Mei. So it went without saying Lin Qing, he wanted to vaccinate her. After hearing how her fourth aunt explained how Su Xing Mei married into the Zhao family, Zhou Sen and I was red from anger and vented, how can she do such a thing? Everyone in old Zhou family is there. Her matter is spread out like this, how will old Zhou family be seen over there? Lin Qing, he said, desire got the best of her mind. How can she ever consider if old Zhou family will get pointed at? She was tempted by that old madam who and started to plan things. Planning how to marry into Zhao family. It seems she never had old Zhou family in mind during the whole process. Grandmother loves reputation the most. She must have been extremely angry, right? Zhou saw and I continued. Yes, she had lie down for a few days. Lin Qing, he replied. I couldn't tell she was this kind of person before. Zhou Sen and I furiously remarked. It's normal if you couldn't, Lin Qing, he responded. Internally, she said that she didn't either. At first glance, she felt she was gentle and weak. Who could have known she was a white lotus? And it was a low-rank one. Su Xing Chang isn't anything good either. After being brought to there by her, he had beaten someone into the hospital because someone said he relied on family connection. Lin Qing, he mentioned. Zhou Sen and I was shocked again. Your fourth uncle thought his nephew was a good bird, 
so he arranged for him to enter the night school. Just watch. I'm estimating he will definitely stir something out. Lin Ching, he said. But she didn't care at all. She knew her own man. She couldn't stop and control everything. She got to let her Ching Bai to see for himself. Some people were bad, but not to the root and can be pulled back. While some people were crooked to the core. After seeing Su Xing Mei was a white louts, Lin Ching, he blacklisted old Su family. Zhou San and I didn't know that so many things happened in the capital. She always thought it was smooth sailing. But it's only them, siblings wreck. Nothing else. You'll know when you go there. All in all, you won't regret it. Lin Qing, he smilingly assured. Next, Lin Qing, he told Zhou San and I a lot of matters in the capital. For example, Zhou Er and I got a partner and might get married next year. He was much better than Zhao Jun and was very close to old Zhou family. There were other matters. Hearing it made Zhou San and I had a strong yearning before even going to the capital. Zhou Qing Bai and Li Ai Gua didn't come back until the evening. They came back with a large bag of mountain goods. Why did you make a trip to get this? Lin Qing, he asked in surprise. It must be fourth uncle, thinking how you like to eat it and that it's a rare chance to come over, so he made a trip to the mountains. Zhou San and I bit her lip and smiled. Zhou Qing Bai looked at his wife. Li Ai Gua also stared at his wife. Seeing that his wife's whole aura changed, he knew it. Fourth aunt must have told her about going to the capital. It went without saying Zhou Qing Bai had told Li Ai Gua. Li Ai Gua was a little excited about going to the capital. But after the excitement, he cooled down. Fourth uncle told him that he would watch the shop in the capital and give them a salary of 80 yuan, not including food and lodging. This made Li Ai Gua's heart speed up again. If they can go to the capital, why wouldn't they be willing? But their livelihood was a big problem. He and his wife can't do what they want. The job in the big city was one carrot in one hole. How can it be their turn? Do their own business? Without the mountains in the village or the land in the village, what can they do? But these problems have been solved. So what was there to hesitate? One had to know the hospital in the capital was the best in the country. Told Aigua? Lin Qing, he asked Zhou Qing Bai when she took in Li Ai Gua's behavior. N. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. Lin Qing, he turned to Li Ai Gua. Ai Gua, since your fourth uncle has told you, then I won't waste words with you anymore. If you go there, we will basically solve the income problem for both of you and let you quickly settle down. One matter is one matter. You may not know what I'm like, but San and I knows. So I will ask you again now. Think about it carefully before you answer me. Would you like to bring San and I to the capital and work for us? Zhou San Ni's eyes fixed on Li Ai Gua. Li Ai Gua hesitated for a moment and said, What happens if I have a chance to go solo in the future? He didn't really want to be employed for the rest of his life. In his heart, he thought about doing business by himself. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gather mountain product by himself and collect food from the villagers and transport them out to earn a resale fee. If you want to do it alone, then of course we won't have any objections. And if you need support, we will support you and San and I go out on your own as your elders. But you have to say in advance. And if your newly opened store is the same line as our, then you have to distance away from our store. This is a business rule. Lin Qing, he stated. I understand. Li Ai Gua nodded. Why open one by yourself? Watching fourth uncle and fourth aunt's shop is enough. Why go out and do it alone? Zhou San and I couldn't help looking at her husband. Before Li Ai Gua spoke, Lin Qing, he smiled and said, San and I, you don't need mind. You know your second aunts, Hu Zi and Gang Zi, right? I didn't plan to let them to work for us for a lifetime. I want them to go solo. 
Chapter 458 Impressive Maternal Family Lin Qing, he didn't blame Li Ai Gua for raising this matter in advance. On the contrary, she looked at Li Ai Gua in appreciation. Although the legs were lame, it wasn't difficult to see that Li Ai Gua got his own ideas and also loved San and I. Being with such a person, San Ni's life won't be bad in the future. So as long as he wants to do it himself, Lin Qing, he will not stop him. Working in the shop for three years. Three years later, if you want to do it yourself, San Ni's fourth aunt and I will support you. Zhou Qing Bai directed at Li Ai Gua. Lin Qing, he felt three years was suitable. No too much, not too little. Just perfect. This year was 83. Three years later, it'll be 86. Still in the high-speed stage of development. Even if Li Ai Gua wants to go out and do it alone then, he won't be delayed. Li Ai Gua found three years agreeable. In three years, he can adapt to the capital city and also have enough time to look at the market there. More importantly, to save some money. He and Zhou Sen and I did have saving. As of now, they didn't have a lot when not excluding the dowry Lin Qing he gave to Zhou Sen and I. His family had about 300 yuan in deposits after taking out his wife's share out. There were also these livestock to be sold. It can be said that in the village, this was a lot of properties. After all, they were still young. Li Ai Gua had moved out by himself. He built a house and married a wife by relying entirely on himself. So he was considered young and promising. This matter was decided like this. Li Ai Gua went to the village branch secretary to discuss about selling his pigs and chickens at home. Not only the pigs and chickens at home, but also the crops that were about to mature in the field. If they don't go, then don't go. If they decided to go, then be quick and a decisive. When Li Ai Gua saw the village branch secretary to discuss it, the village branch secretary was shocked. What? You want to sell pigs and chickens? and the crops in the field and turn them into money? The village branch secretary's first reaction was that Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai were here to borrow money. Yes. San and I, and I want to go to work in the capital with fourth uncle and fourth aunt. So we want to get rid of these things. Li Ai Gua nodded. The capital? San Ni's fourth uncle and fourth aunt are from the capital? The village branch secretary was even more surprised. Not only him, but his wife was the same. My my. It was no wonder they looked so impressive like the big leaders who went to the countryside. It turned out they were from the capital city. Fourth uncle is doing business there. Fourth aunt is a foreign language teacher at Bay University. Their whole family is registered to the capital. They are truly people from the capital. Li Ai Gua said. Both the village branch secretary and his wife were so shocked that they were speechless. Doing business was all right. However, Ai Gua's wife's fourth aunt turned out to be a foreign language teacher at Bay University? What kind of place was Bay University? The best university in the country. A legendary institution. She turned out to be the foreign language teacher there. She taught college students? None of them knew that Ai Gua's wife's maternal family was so impressive. It was no wonder that Ai Gua had to spend 400 yuan to marry her back. But when you're there, jobs aren't easy to come by. Those jobs outside are all one carrot in one hole, the village branch secretary remarked. Fourth uncle and fourth aunt will open another shop. When that happens, we will go watch the shop and 50 yuan a month will be given to us. Li Ai Gua responded. This was deliberately reduced. Fourth uncle had said it was 80 yuan, but 80 yuan was really too much. Even if it was for a couple together. So he stated 30 yuan less, just 50. Still, 50 yuan was enough. The village branch secretary emotionally remarked, having such relatives is also your luck. The village party secretary was part of Li Ai Gua's family clan. Li Ai Gua and the village party secretary were relatively close. 
As for his family, since his mother was able to make such a faceless publicity, then there was nothing to say. The main reason to go there is that the hospitals in the capital are all top-notch. Lee Aigua said. Both the village branch secretary and his wife nodded. It was indeed the best choice to go to the capital. It was just there was no one watch out for them. Now there was, it would definitely be better to go to a big city. With 50 yuan a month, they can definitely survive. Li Aigua wrote a transfer letter. The pigs and chickens, as well as the crops, were all transferred to the village branch secretary. Naturally, they weren't expensive. All 40% lower than the market price. The village branch secretary said that there was no need to lower it so much, just go by market price. Li Aigua certainly wouldn't do that. After the last round of debating, it was reduced by 20%. As for the fields and things, they were given to the village branch secretary. His yard was also lent to the village party secretary to raise chickens and pigs. He would lock the house when the time came. Still, he also asked the village branch secretary to keep an eye on it. This kind of matter was usually handed over to one's parents and siblings. But Li Aigua didn't even make a trip at all. This goes to shows how bad the relationship between them was. In fact, it wasn't that bad before Zhou Sen and I married in. More accurately, Li Aigua didn't give them a chance to be noisy. After all, he was on his own. However, after Zhou Sen and I entered the family, there was a lot of ruckus every now and then. Even when treated unfairly, Li Aigua didn't take it to heart. What really made him feel cold was that his mother can disregard the faces of them couple and even want to ruin them by telling the whole village about San Ni's bad health. Was this something a mother can do? An enemy wouldn't do this. Frozen three feet deep even when it wasn't cold day. This situation wasn't built up for a day or two. The village branch secretary couple knew this well. With his family's large population, there was no worry about that side seeking trouble. Of course, he straightforwardly accepted and offered a not low price for Li Aigua's assets was because the village branch secretary could see Li Aigua will do well in the future. What's more, they were going to the capital. With his wife's uncle and aunt's help, he will definitely develop well. So he was willing to do good and give him convenience. Also, his family didn't suffer a loss. So why not? The village branch secretary followed Li Aigua over to his house and sit around. Fourth uncle and fourth aunt, this is our village secretary. He's also our clan uncle, who takes good care of us. Zhou Sen and I introduced. Zhou Qingbai shook hands with the village branch secretary. Lin Qing, he smiled and said, This girl, San Enai knows to remember favor and return gratitude. Who treats her well, she remembers in her heart. Her parents are busy and can't free themselves. As her uncle and aunt, us coming is the same. We thank to branch secretary on their behalf. No need. We are all relatives. We should help each other. Besides, both Aigua and Aigua's wife are good. The village branch secretary jollily responded. Internally, he remarked, Bay University's teacher is different. Her speech was really open and magnificent. Sanni's health is a common women's condition. So we came over as soon as we heard about it and want to take them to the capital. Village branch secretary, you don't have to worry about the two of them. Their grandparents and youngest aunt's family are over there. It's very lively. Lin Qing, he continued. Chapter 459 Return to the Capital When Li Jia Village's village branch secretary heard this, his mind wanted to express something. It wasn't only Aigua's wife's fourth uncle and fourth aunt's family who was in the capital. There were so many people, her grandparents, youngest aunt, uncle, and others. What kind of big family was Aigua's wife's family? Fourth aunt, counting the time, Dewa had graduated, right? Zhou Sen and I asked. It's been almost two years since graduation. This year, Sanhua has entered Bay University. Lin Qing, he merrily responded. Sanhua also entered Bay University? 
Zhou Sen and I uttered in surprise, that means all three brothers are Bay University student? At this time, not only the village branch secretary was shocked, but Li Ai Guo was also shocked. He knew that this fourth uncle and fourth aunt were brilliant, but he didn't know the whole family was Bay University student? In this era of college students' golden titles, a family of Bay University college students. What kind of family was this? If this was happened in the countryside, it would have been in the newspaper. It was simply bringing glory, the ancestor. The smoke from the ancestor wasn't as brilliant as this. Lin Qing, he smiled and said, these three brats. They are only good at studying. Zhou Qing Bai's gaze toward his wife's gaze was so gentle. Three sons can become dragons and phoenixes was due to relying on what they inherited from their 18 generation of poor peasant Zhou ancestors. It was his wife who brought blessing to the husband as well as the sons. Now they can call themselves a scholarly family. A veritable scholarly family. At this time, Li Ai Gua took the village party secretary to count the assets at home. Tonight, he will kill two chickens to eat, and the rest will change hands. Also, the crops and the rest of the land. All the account was settled. The final amount was about 150 yuan. Li Ai Gua removed the remainder. So it was 150. The village branch secretary happily went to bring the money over. Lin Qing, he took a bottle of Mao Tai wine from her. But actually, it was from the space. Two chickens were killed for dinner that evening. They had invited the village branch secretary to stay for a drink. At the dinner table, Lin Qing, he talked a lot about the capital city. She also revealed some of the situation to the village branch secretary, as well as some developments in other places. Such as those in the south. The village branch secretary was stunned when he heard it. He couldn't help it. His knowledge was incomparable with that of Ai Gua's wife's fourth uncle and fourth aunt. However, he was very happy to eat at the dinner table. Mao Tai was a good wine. It was very strong and full of mellow. The village party secretary was very satisfied with the meal. He was still drunk when he returned. Li Ai Gua sent him back. When you go to the capital, don't forget our hometown. When you have time, come back and have a look. The village branch secretary patted him on the shoulder and said. He felt that this nephew, Li Ai Gua, would have a great future when he goes out. Especially when he encountered these elders who were willing to promote him from behind. Here is my route, so I must come back and have a look. Li Ai Gua replied. The village branch secretary smiled and patted him on the shoulder before letting him go back. Li Ai Gua headed home. Check what you need to bring. Take away the ones that are easy to bring. But for those that aren't, we'll go over and buy them there again. There is no need for any coupons or the likes over there. Lin Qing, he said. In fact, they complied with her advice. Just bring stuff like clothes. But they also knew that they were leaving their homes. Better to spend less as much as possible. Li Ai Gua and Zhou San and I wanted to bring a lot of things, such as clothes, quilts and pots and pans. Lin Qing, he felt her head was throbbing. Zhou Qing Bai said, take it. I'll carry some for you then. Both Li Ai Gua and Zhou San and I felt embarrassed, but this can't be helped. As the old saying goes, beggars have a lot of luggage when they move. It looked like there weren't much stuff. But once you move house, one will know how much there actually was. Tomorrow, Chuan Zi will take us directly to the county in an ox cart. Let's go to third uncle and third aunt's side? Li Ai Gua asked. You go first. We have to go back to the village to pick up C and I. Lin Qing, he responded, she's San Ni's cousin from her eldest uncle's family. This time, she will go to the capital with us. Li Ai Gua nodded. Since they were going to get up early tomorrow, they will go to bed earlier if there was nothing else to do. Before dawn the next day, Zhou San and I got up to make breakfast. The food at home weren't going to be taken away. These were left for Li Ai Gua's parents. 
Although the elders didn't act like elders, the responsibilities that should be fulfilled must be fulfilled. For nothing other than the villagers to keep in mind, right? Aigua specially bought these few jeans rice for me. There's no production here. Aunt, you can go over and give it to my eldest uncle and eldest aunt to eat. Josan and I said. Although the responsibilities were fulfilled, they weren't willing. So, ah, uh, the good things won't be given to them. Lin Ching, he didn't refuse. After breakfast, she went home with Zhou Ching Bai, by bicycle. They'll regroup with Li Aigua and Zhou San and I at third brother and third sister-in-law shop. Only when Lin Ching He and Zhou Ching Bai returned to the village, did they know Zhou Si and I had gone to the city by the village's donkey cart this morning. It's only that far. No need to worry about her fourth uncle not being able to carry her over Lin Ching, he understood why eldest sister-in-law did this and said with a smile. It's tiring enough to come here from over there. Then you have to bring her to the city. Anyway it's on the way. Let her ride the donkey cart and be done with it. Eldest sister-in-law responded. Lin Ching, he, and Zhou Ching Bai had lunch here. After lunch, Zhou Ching Bai went to say goodbye to second brother. Lin Ching, he talked with Mrs. Kai, Zhou Dong, Kai Ba Mei, and those she had a good relationship with. The couple rode their bicycle back to the city. A bicycle was returned to old Zhou family. Lin Ching, he hopped on Zhou Ching Bai's bike. Have to say, eldest sister-in-law paid attention to detail. It was fine to let Si and I to stay and be brought to the city by the couple. Third brother could send the bicycle back when he went to the countryside to collect the goods. But now this way took a lot less effort. The couple came to the city. Zhou San and I, Zhou Si and I, and Li Ai Guo were all at third brother's shop. With so many people going there all at once, the capital city's side is going to be even more lively. Third sister-in-law jollily remarked. She only knew then that Lin Qing, he wanted to take San and I to the capital city. This couldn't be any better. Once they're at the capital city, the medical equipment there can treat her. It's already lively there. Think about how many people in our family are in the capital? Lin Qing, he said with a smile. Third sister-in-law grinned. She also began to remind both Zhou, San and I, and Zhou Si and I. Zhou Qingbai had already gone to third brother Lin's side to say goodbye. Third brother Lin came over with him. He helped with the baggage. Then the group of five got into the bus with the baggage and headed to the municipal city. It was pretty late when they arrived in the city. Still, there was one last train to the capital. So even when they were tired, they got on it. Chapter 460 came to Zhou Si and I had good tolerance. She was a little excited when she was in the carriage. While Zhou San and I couldn't handle it. First, it was the bus. Once she got on the train, she immediately fell asleep. It was a bit like Mother Zhou when she came over. It was first time for Li Aigua, but he was fine. Zhou Qingbai bought a few lunch boxes back to eat. Lin Qing, he took out apples, oranges, tomatoes, and cucumbers from her cloth bag. Even now, she can't get used to the train's lunch boxes. So she took a few bites and ate the poached egg, then the rest was given to Zhou Qing Bai. Li Aigua and Zhou Si and I was satisfied with the food. There was another one for San and I. For now it's since she was sleeping. She would eat after she woke up. Fourth aunt, you're eating that much? You will be hungry later. Zhou Si and I uttered. I won't. Aren't I eating these? Lin Qing, he said. How can this fill the stomach? Zhou Si and I was a nimble girl, but she was also a realistic girl. Lin Qing, he smiled. It was when she heard what Mother Wing said, her mind moved and wanted to bring Si and I to the capital. However, she didn't take what Mother Wing said seriously. Wing Guadong was so much older than Si and I. What's more, there was difference of urban and countryside between them. The environment they grew up in was too different. Lin Qing, he didn't think they can get together. She didn't think much about it at all. 
but bringing a big girl, like C and I out, was undoubtedly good for her. As for Dan I, she will be staying in the village all her life. Of course, it wasn't a bad thing for Dan I. But with comparison, it must looked worst off. And was it only this generation that was worse off? It won't stop. The following generations too. It was basically a foregone conclusion. When San and I woke up, Li Ai Guo would take care of her. She couldn't eat the meal. So she ate apples and other fruits. She had a better appetite then. She finished the lunch box. It can be seen that it suited her taste. Back then, your grandmother was like you, slept all the way to the capital. Lin Qing, he said with a smile. Because of such an experience, Mother Zhou was a little bit scared even when she wanted to go back to her hometown. Her life was so comfortable. If not, she would still want to return her hometown. I haven't rode this before. It sway badly. Zhou San and I responded embarrassedly. It's okay. Just ride more and you'll get used to it. Lin Qing, he nodded. They arrived in the capital, two days later. Despite being tired, Zhou San and I, Li Ai Gua, and Zhou Si No took in the people coming and going at the capital's railway station and became full of spirit. They had to wait for the bus from the railway station to Bay University. Because they came out at a bad time. The bus had just departed. Zhou San and I, Li Ai Gua, and Zhou Si and I were all very excited because the capital was so different from home. There were even telephone booths. How rare were telephones? They were actually on the street here. When the bus arrived, they hopped on. They traveled all the way to Bay University all the way and saw the bicycle brigade, who were people were getting off work, and other scenes. The county in their hometown was already very prosperous. But when compared with the capital, it was really nothing. 83 Capital Its development was really fast. Many places began to display modernization. Those wearing flared trousers and jeans on the street were very trendy. In comparison, Zhou San and I, Li Ai Gua, and Zhou Si and I dressed old fashioned. In fact, these were newest clothes. They specially wore it, but it was still old fashioned. Once you go to work, each person will get two sets of clothes distributed. Lin Qing, he smilingly told, she sold clothes, so naturally she didn't mind about these clothes. Fourth aunt, the capital, is really advanced. Josie and I couldn't help but remark. That's right. Lin Qing, he replied. Why else, would Su Xingmei rack her brains to stay? Wasn't it the prosperity that she was interested in? We're going to live here in the future? Zhou San and I murmured while looking at the scenery outside the bus window. Li Ai Gua clearly sensed that his wife likes it here. It went without saying Li Ai Gua likes it too. Even when he hasn't started working yet, the prosperity of the capital made him unable to help but yearn for it. It turned out that while they were clueless, the outside world was already this exciting. Even though it was a direct route, there were passengers to drop off on the way. So it only took about two hours to arrive. After getting out of the bus with their luggage, the group of people made their way and came to the dumpling shop first. The dumpling shop was lively at this time. The youngest, Zhou Gui Lai, was busy and sweating profusely. Old Wang helped him make dumplings, while Aunt Ma was doing the dishes. Oh, little boss is busy? Lin Qing, he stepped in and smilingly uttered. Dad, Mom. Zhou Gui Lai's eyes lit up. He noticed Zhou, San and I, and Zhou C and I, Sister San and I, Sister C and I, you came too? N. We came over. Planning to let little boss feed us some food. Zhou C and I joked when she saw him wearing an apron and looked the part. Easy. Zhou Gui Lai laughed. Then he pointed to the second floor and said, Upstairs is Sister Ernie's room. Sister C and I will definitely stay with Sister Air and I in the future. Put your luggage there. All right. Zhou C and I smiled and went to drop off the luggage. 
Zhou Qingbai had already gone to wash his face and hands and then took over his youngest son's ladle. Zhou Gui Lai untied the apron and put it on his dad. Lin Qing, he stayed with Zhou San and I and Li Ai Gua, they are busy here. Let's do your grandparents' side first? That place is spacious and there is a room for you to live in first. Zhou San and I and Li Ai Gua had no objection. As for their luggage, leave them here for now. Just need to bring clothes over. Wait until the evening and then they will go to the bathhouse and take a bath together. It closed at 9 o'clock. No rush. Okay. Li Ai Gua responded. Mom, who is this? Zhou Gui Lai didn't know Li Ai Gua yet. Your third brother-in-law. Lin Qing, he said. It turned out to be third brother-in-law. Zhou Gui Lai grinned, my sister San and I and third brother-in-law, go over. There was no news about my parents bringing you over. If we knew you were coming, grandfather and grandmother will definitely be happy. He was a talkative kid, so he took Li Ai Gua and Zhou San and I to his grandparents' side. The journey over wasn't awkward. Zhou San and I chatted with him. Once she was at this side, Zhou San and I became more relaxed. A smile was on her face. As Zhou Gui Lai said, Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai hadn't mentioned about bringing people here this time. So when Father Zhou and Mother Zhou saw Zhou San and I and Li Ai Gua, they were pleasantly surprised. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.